for yourself though? Uh, me, that is the only person I craft for now. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Because that sounds awful, doesn't it? No, because I got um, I I don't make cards anymore. I do art. I do a lot of journaling, the art journals, oh, okay. because I love that, and that's why for me, because you keep it then, and it means you look through your books, and it shows it's like your journey. So it shows where you started, all the different techniques you've learned, all the different products you've worked with, and they're beautiful to look back on. Uh, they're beautiful. Whereas, so with these, they're absolutely perfect because you can make journals with them. You can decorate these oh, so for home decor pieces yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. And I like that because you do, I think a lot of people, are, when you start crafting, you make cards, but then eventually you run out of people to give them to. So you've got all these cards. <laughs> That's true. You've got stacks and stacks of cards. So then you try and sell them, but obviously the market's absolutely flooded. But you, So you need an outlet. You craft, but you need an outlet. You need something, you need an excuse to be crafting. Whereas if you do your art journals, you're crafting, but it's for you. I journaled um, through my first pregnancy. So, and I, and I would add in, like, so kind of scrapbooking, but yeah. adding in um, different things so that Freddie knew from the start mm. everything that we went through before he arrived. Yes. Which was, which was really lovely. So actually something like this. Yes, perfect. You, you know, then, then he's got it and he knows. Yeah. It's and something it's, to look back on, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. It's yeah. an absolutely lovely way of keepsaking. And yeah, Zutter are amazing for that. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, they're brilliant. That were a waffle, weren't it? Um, I'm sorry, I weren't listening to anything you said, Kim. Yeah. Uh, well, basically, Facebook uh, was uh, down temporarily. So it must well, have been the rush of running. people wanting yeah. to say hello to our Natasha. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> broken it already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, broken so it's back Facebook. Out and ready, so that's, that's what I amazing um, so it's back up and running so you can all get chatting uh, now if you do want to join our Miss P at 8 o'clock you've got a load of goodies on there yeah, haven't you I have, I have. Um, so make sure you do um, do tune in at 8 o'clock but are you two going looking at Sunrise Specials again? oh we are apparently Sunrise Specials have a look at the website <laughs> now, on the website, you are going to see all the different goodies and much more besides. And this, one, this is what is coming up at 8 o'clock. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's oh, this. Oh, sorry, uh, love. So, we have got in there Pink Frog <laughs> That's um, Pink Frog Crafts for Glass and Paper Collection. Ice white and ice gold as well. As well as we have got, of course, the red liner tape in different widths. Well, look at those five star reviews that we have got on them as well. Look at them. Of course, it's going to be a, you know, lots of savings. And there you can have the Zutter Scrapbook Collections, of course, as well as the Satin Fabric Bolt and Bright Collection. There are some dies as well that you can see there, they're from Crafts to Cope, as well as some Anna Griffin punches with, again, five, review, five star reviews in there. But let's say have a look at the Sunrise Specials. <music> Right. When we were looking at these yeah. earlier, when we were in and it was a bit blurry because yeah. it was a bit early, yeah. I didn't realise that these stayed on. It was only when yeah, I realised that they yeah. stay on the plastic. It's amazing. It is. I actually kind of thought, oh, it, because at the, of course, what it means is that because that scores it as well at the bottom, so it pops up properly. So it's a proper pop-up. I mean, just I need a piece of card and then uh, that cutting machine. That's what I need. Um, but also that will go through a nice five die cutting machine. Perfect. So the width of it, as well as an, uh, so um, most of the standard ones are that width. And what I would do is I would just check the width of this. So probably you don't need to add anything else other than whatever uh, stand, uh, standard platforms you have got okay. the sandwich. But you, of course you'd need to test them. Uh, do does it tell you? Yeah, actually it's got it lots does of, tell you. Yeah, lots it tells of you exactly what plaques uh, you need to do. Uh, not plaques, plates. Uh, so that's probably for C plate stencil. Oh, okay. So hey what, they're going to be a lot of fun, aren't they, to work with? They are, and they're very intricate as well. And, like, and I am thinking not only for pop-ups, but I also thinking you can then trim those bits here and then here and then just use it as a regular die. 
so there nice. is no reason to not use it as a as a regular dye. Well, then also that that is the same sort of shape yeah. as that, so you could layer exactly because this one is. Um, if I turn it over, you can see some inspiration on in the back. Um, you can see that this one is a solid one, and that one has got an intricate one. You know what I mean? Yes. So therefore, you will be able to uh, yeah that. It's really cool for the inside of the card, of course, because that's the pop-up element. But I would use it as well for, we were talking about art journals and things like yes. that. So you can create an insert, so then the, you can, in the art journal, you have got that beautiful, you know, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. That element into it. It's just a really, really cool. I love it. Um, and uh, of course, it is a butterfly, which is a nice size as well. So I think it will work all year round for you know so many different occasions. It's big enough as well that you're going to be able to add in little bits of glitter. Yeah, you exactly, know, you're going to be able to yeah. add in that personal yeah. touch to okay. it too. Uh, we are, oh, you know, we are busy for this one. Your item number is 035229, 11 pounds and 77 pence. Amazing so price. It is for it, it is three beautiful dies that come with a plate. It's a te template as well, because then you can do pop-ups as well, like I would use it as a template. Uh, and of course, it's from Joy Crafts, which is a company that has been, uh, you know, it's based in the Netherlands, I believe. So it is dispatched from the um, 15th of January. Lovely. That's Lovely. And eleven pounds like seventy seven for both of them. Anyway. Now, Paula, you are a woman after my own heart, because yeah. you looked at this and you went, oh, I kind of like to put it in rainbow <laughs> order. It's me. Yes. yes, 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 but you didn't. I didn't. I was very, very, uh, so I'm kind of itching to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is because I always think, so if we put it in a rainbow, let's just start a proper rainbow with red, <laughs> and then you are getting orange, and then you have got, oh, let's just start a pink. I'm doing it slightly different than I usually do, because I usually put yellow in the front, uh, but then I have got more pink. So you can see all the different shades of pink that you are getting here. So, and I it's nice to have three shades of pink. Well, also, we're coming into spring. That's yeah. what I keep telling myself. We've had the shortest day of the year, haven't we? We're gonna, days are going to get longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've, had the, we've had the winter equinox. We're all good. Yeah, um, it's Christmas Day. Which, which means that actually you can start using those spring colours, start looking forward to Easter and Valentine's. So you've got your reds in there for your Valentine's. Then you've got your spring colours as well, your lovely pastel shades uh, getting ready for, for Easter. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, you have got a cute... I mean, the only colour that is not in there is the green, but look at the gorgeous baby blues, baby girls. A uh, baby girls, baby pinks. <laughs> oh, uh, now you are getting f fifty sheets of the uh, two forty GSM, which is the cardstock thickness, and, and forty sheets of the L one sixty, which is more the paper for instant um, for inserts, uh, also for matting and layering. So you're not going to add too much bulk. Exactly, Perfect. and wait. But also, the, the thing that I love about uh, 240 GSM is that it die cuts beautifully. Yes. If you want, especially if you want to do boxes. So, if you die cut boxes, you want 240 is kind of the gold standard because it's really? if you go 300, it's yeah. a little bit sometimes for the folds, it's a little bit too thick. Ah, and is that when you get the sort of the curve? Yes, the is that yeah, why yeah. my edges curve? Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, anything below 200 would be a little bit flimsy. So yeah. to me, anything between 200 and 100 and 300, to be fair, it's is good. But 240 is the ideal That's for the one. boxes. Perfect. So, of course, and you have got those gorgeous colors. Doesn't it look much better like that <laughs> than it does <laughs> like that? I mean, seriously. I'd say that's a minty green. You've oh, got it green is a minty green. Oh, that's got it. Of course, 288963 is your item number. And it's just 999. Yeah, it is amazing. Oh, great price. value. It amazing. is, it is. Uh, of course, half price. Um, one penny off. Yeah. Half price. Um, now, pies. Right, so I do not make pies now. Uh, pies is something that is something that you do not make in Spain. Any more paella than pie? Yes, paella yeah. and uh, tortilla de patatas, uh, a Spanish omelette. But then could you put that on top of your uh, your well, Spanish omelette, stop it burning? That could be. That could be yeah, you could do that. Uh, I burn everything, so this is vital for me. Ah, I see. Definitely. That's a good, good idea. Definitely yeah. right. But I think, uh, I mean, these, yes, they're using these uh, little pop-out for uh, for your pie decorations but i'm thinking also making biscuits and things I with the kids i didn't realize i thought it was the base but this is to protect no, so, so you know how when you cook yeah. something obviously the middle needs longer but round the edge always burns 
Now that is... That's going to stop. So you put that on to start off with and then whip it off halfway through. Ah, that oh, is... Oh, this is apparently to gauge pastry depth. That's ah. Barbara, who is who is some kind of um, <laughs> culinary queen. Yeah. So, oh. I don't know. I mean, I have not... Oh, oh... Oh, you lay them flat, oh, and then you roll. Oh, oh, so you roll over the top. Yeah. So the, oh, okay. So you have got yes. Do you know someone always knows? Yeah, somebody someone always, always knows. always knows. Thank you, Barbara. And You've got to know. <laughs> I don't know what else you could use them for, but I'm sure there are other uses for. Well, I wasn't <laughs> sure if you, if you, you know, if you had them if, in an oven glove, if you could like, hook, you know, when it goes too far in. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, hook it in. <laughs> hook a pie <laughs> rather than hook a duck. Uh, uh, then, that, what was this for again? A uh, pizza, a pizza <laughs> dough, a yep. uh, pastry dough. That one is the flat one, and that one is the one that creates more of. Uh, yeah. Crack your nuts and your crackers. Could you um, smash your toffee with it as well? I don't know. I'd give it a go. I would use it for crafting, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really, pal? You do? I mean, <laughs> that, that <shocks> the nation <laughs> is shocked. <laughs> like, 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 I'm not going to use it for cooking. I'm going to no, use it for crafting. No. And, um, what is this? Is what? That, I'm not sure what is that. That's a rolling pin <gasps> cover, and then this is for your egg wash to make it yeah, all nice that's, and shiny. That, that's what I, I mean, that would you use that for crafting, crafting obviously, yeah. as well. Yeah. And of course, you can use these ones as well to create this lo lovely um, mold. Again, for crafting. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's like, no cooking in my house, please. Uh, 263, 234 is your item number. Just 15 pounds. Look at that I saving. Know. I know. Amazing. It is absolutely amazing. And of course, you, what you can do if you're, a, if you're like me, you, are, you don't, you don't uh, cook, but you can give it as a presence to other people so they can cook for you genius yeah. genius yeah, yeah i'm loving that idea um right small interest uh dies look at them they are stunning i love this one i mean I, this is a set of three dies in here three dies in here and three and two dies in there well you know what i'm thinking you had the different shades of pink yeah how lovely is it going to be to have a deep shade underneath so you can cut out yes. the outside and yes. then the intricacy you can do in a lighter shade of pink and just start to build that depth with it. That, so, and, uh, because you are getting those three dyes, so you can, of course, the in and the out, yes, as you were saying, on those three shades yes. of pink. And, and also I'm thinking that and, uh, at 8 a.m., we, which we have got quite a lot of beautiful pearlescent, iridescent cards doing the, in different tones. It will create that kind of Lovely. light reflecting effect. Lovely. And of course, the other thing that you have got is the musical notes, but with the little hearts in here at the bottom. Well, if music be, no, yeah, music yeah. be the food of love, play on. Oh, yeah, no, that's not lovely. Uh, so, yeah, that could be for Valentine's, but yes. of course it can be all year round. And then uh, look at the gorgeous uh, intricate corners, which I also think is, is great to have to add, add decorations to, you know, the corners. But you can then do a medallion by putting four corners. Oh, nice. So if you put it like, do you like have that one four times? Yeah. And then you put them one here, one coming upwards and then one yeah. coming that one beautiful then, so you have got that and then you could put a sentiment in the middle exactly and then that's it okay. you know very easy oops upside down uh zero six seven zero zero three is your item 95 is it mm. yeah no, it works out well you are getting uh, eight toys so just over a pound you're paying for Amazing. each Absolutely. Uh, we have got Graphic 45 as well uh, on the show and we have it coming up, I think, at 11 o'clock. Uh, so you are doing that one, I think. Um, Do you know, Graphic 45 is one that I absolutely adore and I have to buy two of because I have to keep yeah. one. So I've one to keep Save, and one, one to use. use. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. A lots of journey wrap folio and tactile kit, and they are there. Gorgeous embellishments as well. Do and they work out. so beautifully with MDF. They do. There's indeed. no getting away from it. Yeah. That 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 depth of colour works beautifully, especially with the laser cut and, on and as the well. richness of the patterns. You want to have something that you can see it and expose. Yes. And of course, these plaques will be work perfectly for it. Because if I'm using Graphic 45, that is not a card that is ever going to be put away. Exactly. That's going to yeah. be one that stays on the dresser. Indeed. But if it can stay on a plaque and be out all the time, Indeed. I'm happy. And of course, you have got here eight pieces in total, different sizes, of course, variation in sizes. I love the fact that you have got them in 
from the little, little smaller one to the uh, larger one. Now, there is no reason why you cannot combine them both. Like, you can hang this one on to that one. Of course. So then you can do like mommy and daddy, uh, mommy or mommy and baby, uh, you know, depending, or daddy and baby and mommy and daddy, uh, whichever, <laughs> anyway, I just got it into a model. Any family, uh, yeah, any, any family. family. Or maybe like. uh, Paula and Patty, which Patty is the neighbor's cat. Anyway, I'll tell you Are all you about it. You're stealing the neighbor's cat. No, 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 no. I mean, he comes uh, comes to visit me, and this morning at six a.m., uh, just before I came here, he came running and just kind of hey, hello. It's like I need to go. Anyway, uh, so I'm not stealing any cats, just to make it very clear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the item number is two seven zero four four three. Uh, is your item number? Just eleven ninety nine. It is. Uh, right, and then we brush cut her. Oh, it, it is so soft, isn't it? Now this is coming in at just two pound fifty a half meter, which is incredible value, whichever okay. whichever way you look at it. This is forty four inches salvage to salvage, um, so that's your. It's not a dressmaking width. Yeah. It's your normal quilting okay. quilting width. So actually, we were saying, Leonie and I were saying earlier, this is going to be absolutely beautiful for backing a quilt in because oh, it's I so agree. soft. Why else do we make quilts to yeah, slab exactly, on there? Exactly. So if you back it with this, yeah. lovely. Uh, lovely. You know, one of my projects for this year, not that I do any year's resolution, but I do have like projects for the okay. year. And a few years ago, as it was to learn how to sew, basically. Oh, and I fabulous. did a little bit. Good. And now this year, I want to get back into sewing a little bit more. Yep. And just and uh, what I want to do is a uh, sofa kind of sort of quilts or something like that. Perfect. Because a I want something quilt. to a lap quilt. Yes. I just want to snuggle in the sofa and I'm definitely going to do brush cotton backing. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's, that's what you want. Even there you in, go. I don't know about you, but even in the summer nights, you know, in the summer when you're not, you want yeah. something a little bit, especially. You have to snuggle under something. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. I, spe I hope that Patchy likes it, uh, the cat. Uh, <laughs> So you're not stealing? I'm not yeah, stealing, not just stealing letting him come and visit. Yeah, 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 just letting him have free reign. Yeah. Ten pounds. Ten just pounds. ten pounds. Amazing. Amazing, isn't it? 608 and 968 is Two your item number. Yeah, it is amazing, mm. isn't it? I know, and then of course we have got paper craft collection in here, which I always recommend. So a, lo a lot of people, um, you know, will contact through Facebook uh, or other social media saying, oh, Paula, I'm starting uh, car making or paper crafting. What do I get? And I always say, well, go to Good Evening, uh, Good Morning Hochanda, because we always have got these paper craft bundles that are perfect to start. Whether you are a beginner or you want to give somebody to start their journey as a car maker, this is perfect. You have got so many elements. Also, it's a stash it's a, a builder booster. top up. Stash booster. Booster, because you have got foam pads. You have got, like you were saying, the circle die cuts. But then really different things like this. Then you have got preschool cards. Yeah. Like well, that's, uh, yeah, that's preschool. Imagine then bringing flowers out of this for oh Mother's my Day. Oh, that's lovely. And double-sided cardstock that has metallic that has been already pre-scored. And now, textured, look at this. Yeah. So if you don't, I mean, if you're just starting out and you don't have a way to emboss, then you've got textured fabric, uh, textured um, cardstock in there as well. It's a really, really lovely, lovely selection. Yeah. And then, of course, you have got also cards and envelopes. Now, uh, I like smaller cards as well because it's yes, they kind of a, a little bit of good to, 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 to do that, it's smaller cards as well. Then you have got the decoupage cards, of course, uh, decoupage cards, decoupage sheets. sheets. Um, can we have a look at the hippo? Oh, the please? hippo. Because I like him. I like him a lot. I think he's super cute. Look at him. He is the cutest thing ever. Um, so you have got those ones as well. Again, it's kind of nice to um, fussy cut around it. And then you have got... That's the sort of thing you can sit and do of an evening, isn't it? In front it of is. the TV, um, you know, or if hubby's got the football on. And you'd like to be sociable. Yeah. But, you know, maybe it's not really a thing. So this is this is the way. And then you have got vintage inspired as well, toppers oh, nice. as well here. So there is a lot of, like we were saying, you know, great stash booster. I like that, stash booster. Or get it and share with a friend. There's so much in there. Yeah, there is so much, yeah. And there is also, uh, for mixed media, it's quite good to have things like this and then just use them in creative ways. Perfect, perfect. At 19.98, it's an incredible, incredible value collection. Um, your item number is zero one five seven nine eight. Ribbons, ribbons. ribbons. Now, of course, yeah. aren't they going to be beautiful to do the loop? 
for you oh, and the Oh, flags. Yeah, that would be flags. perfect. Now, what I love about these ones is that uh, we, we are very busy for uh, the ribbons. We have 30% of it uh, gone. Now, what I love is that it's quite a, a thin. It's about, I think it's about five it five mil? mil? Four mil. Four, four mil. mil. Four mil. So, uh, so that means that it will go really nicely through the smaller holes of the plaques. Yes. Because if you have got sometimes ribbon can be a little bit beautifully and chunky, but you know, it's really hard to get it. Now this you will know. But you can build up and build up and make larger and larger bows, exactly. can't you? So it, it, it's got that, you can have it as a very delicate one or you can build it up into something yeah. larger. You can tie Absolutely. parcels with it. Yeah, and look, very, very uh, and I love the fact that you can make, and now I always start very big and then make it a tiniest bow, and I think that makes the cutest little bow in there. Beautiful. Look at that. So for car making, that's perfect to add those extra bows, but also if you want to do like for little girls, like you probably said your little one, oh, you little want to do little, little, little hair clips that just oh, makes it. Yes. And how many would you be able to make in here? Well, quite a lot, because she likes to uh, rip them out, so um, <laughs> you know, she'd need a few. That works. Yeah, well, you are getting uh, 50 yards in each, and you are getting tw 12 of them, so that's... that's yeah, 600, si 600 yards. yards. So this is about, what is it, 550? Meters, meters or something yeah. like that yeah. which is a lot well it is incredible value isn't it and mm -hmm. really beautiful again if you are starting to build up your ribbon collection then you've got some gorgeous yeah. shades there Lovely. Yeah, it is absolutely your item number is 066968 at 20 pounds for all 12 of them and of course we have featured the deal of the day which you can see an image over there with all the beautiful MDF uh, elements in there now, of course, uh, you have got in there uh, the uh, little tags and little, you know, bigger tags. Uh, you are getting three of each size, each shape, so you are getting 36 in total for just 19 pounds and 99 pence. Your item number for the deal, the deal of the day, is 946278. And I'm gonna let, leave you with Leone, Tatasha, and the one day special debut guest, Trisha. Hello and welcome back. Thank you, Miss P. She's running off now to get ready for um, her show at 8 o'clock. Um, now then, our yeah, Trisha. Now then. I know, oh, Natasha, you will love what Trisha brings in because, <laughs> um, obviously, these wonderful bags. Well, it's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? And incredibly handy. You can have too many bags, can no, you? That's no. What, my husband says to me, who wants to keep buying bags? We all do. Yeah, we all we do. Of course. Yeah, we all do. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. And Trisha, you, you come up with your own designs, don't you? We were That's just right. chatting about this. Yes, yeah. Um, everything I do, I might see somewhere, it might be somebody walking down the street, and I see the flap on the bag and I think, oh, I like that. Yeah. So, Mentally, okay. right. do, you yes. carry, do you carry a little? Do you write it down? I don't, but as soon as I remember. get home, I, I write it down. So it your phone, it's gone. So on your phone, not just yes. full of people walking no. past the bags. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them. Why is this lady following me down the street? I don't know. <laughs> What's that piece of fabric you yeah. got down the bottom of my coat? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, <laughs> um, I love and that. So your designs, so you yes. come up, you you take little bits here and there. Yeah, but otherwise you yeah. come up with your own. Yeah. And they're always your shows are always really busy, aren't they? They are. I mean, I thank all Fabulous. of you so much. Um, it, it really makes everything worthwhile. Well, it's worthwhile anyway. It's it's just lovely. I love what I do, yeah. and I That's love it, the fact it? that people love what I do do yeah. and bring to them. Yeah, it's so <laughs> exciting. Like, it is. Because it's nerve-wracking. When you do your own mm -hmm. stuff, it's nerve-wracking, yes. isn't it? I always think, well, beforehand, like this show, I was thinking, oh, I don't know. And then I saw it out on the counter, and I thought, yeah. That looks okay, but I never realised yeah. that people would like it yeah. as much as they did. Yeah, yeah. No, you always doubt yourself, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Um, but it's accessible bag making, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. You um, know it. I like to make something that's useful. Yes. I was only saying to Yanis last night, I like to use lovely fabrics because then you enjoy when you're making. Yeah. Yes. And if you use a quality fabric, it will last. It won't just look good for the first yes. outing. Or yeah. if it needs a bit of a brush up or wash up and then yeah. um, it, it just stretches or, you know, just goes saggy or there's a mark on there. Yeah. Um, I also like to put um, a learning curve in there as well. Nice. So I usually put a different technique. So sometimes there's a, a zipped in the pocket, sometimes there's yeah. a patch pocket. 
like this one we've got a zipped top yeah. um, as a closure as well. So if and someone's yeah. following, following your journey with you mm. then they're going to be learning and, and getting those skills yes. as they go. Yes, yeah. I suppose I'm not consciously doing it but I know mm. if that were me I You'd would want, want to be up. learning that little bit more yeah. so that um, and I've had this with some of wor my workshop ladies where they have come along to workshops on a, a quite a long-term basis and now from not being able to look at something and think I can make it now they look at uh, you know a pattern in a yeah. magazine that and think I could do, do that, that. That's and I could do it this way or that way. confidence building. Mm, yeah. Well it done. Um, we're both up, aren't we, with we our are? Trisha? Yes. Uh, that is going to be the one day special at 9am. Um, I know a lot of the singles have sold out individually, so the only way to get them is your one day special. But we'll tell you all about that mm. at 9 o'clock. Um, thank you very much, ladies. And we'll see both of, um, of you guys later. See you in a bit. Okay, okay. Miss P is with you for the big, uh, hold on a minute, the best of the big save. And then it is our Trisha with the one day special. And then, oh, some beautiful new stamps. And that is Catsall Crafts. See you in a bit. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. And we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at a Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you'll receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. I'm on my own today, so I do email us in. Well, us no, email me. Well, not email me in. Anyway, email in at uh, studio at hotchanda.com if you want to see any uh, items demonstrated, and we'll try to, you know, try to do something with it. Now we are going. We are in the middle of flex extravaganza. Of course, that means that every every single item above five pounds, you cannot spread the cost into payments. Which means that even like the first one, eleven nine pounds ninety eight, you can spread the cost. Which I think for January is always a good idea. So then you don't have to pay everything today. Now, what have we got in the first item? Uh, we have got MDF of F. Um, duff, like uh, a <laughs> duff, uh, like uh, um, I, uh, Leonie calls, calls it. Of course, what you have got here is 
45 pieces in total. Now, it is a tax collection, tax and tax. Now, you are getting 86 coins, uh, which is uh, basically two and a half mm -hmm. centimeters in diameter. So that creates the perfect vase for it. Now, there is a lot of uh, different imagery, like stamps and dies that will fit inside it. And what it is all about is about creating pieces of artwork that then you can trade with your friends or display at home. Now you are getting quite a few of them of the circle ones. Uh, you're getting 30 uh, in total, so it means that you can, you could do, I know that uh, Christmas has happened already, but it, it hasn't happened for 2020, so therefore you can start creating a birthday, uh, you know, uh, not a birthday, uh, an advent calendar, but also it could be, a bir uh, you know, like a calendar for the days of the month, and you can do like chores things like that as well. Uh, then we have got, uh, and of course the, the 31, you can do the big heart, you know, just the last day. Uh, or the last day, yeah, exactly, so you can have a, a like that, or you could have, now you have got different ha hearts, and I love that you have a tallest skinny one and a um, you know shortish uh, you know more well-rounded heart in there as well and then of course you have got a traditional uh, plaque oval which would be perfect for sentiment like uh, I love those kind of uh, beware of the dog sort of thing uh, you know or home sweet home as well or you know Molly's room stay away uh, moody teenager there <laughs> then we have got and as well here now this ones uh, that could be maybe a traditional plaque with the inverted uh, corners as well and then you have got uh, the rectangles now of course the rectangles because you are getting uh, I believe that for the larger ones you are getting three of each you could do two of them as a book cover so if you are doing your own art journals and we do have got a, a lots of cards in this in this hour uh, I would create the pages separately trim them out and then just use a ring binder or just use some ribbon or something like that and then you can have the book covers and then you have got the plaque to use separately so I love the fact that you are not only getting 45 pieces in total but you are getting enough multiples to do projects three of each of the larger shapes and then you are 30 of the 80 coins which are I just love them also they are gift tags as well and the thing with MDF and you want quality is being laser cut so it has got already that darker darkened edge so you don't have to ink it over it uh, also I do like the fact that you can use them as gift tags because you are only paying 11 pounds 98 for all of them it gives you the perfect kind of substrates to work your mixed media your art journaling your your home decor I did does work out at 26 pence per piece of MDF which is absolutely amazing because these ones are quite a large uh, ones as well 11 uh, 11 <laughs> one 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 six four one is your item number 111 641 that's your item number 11 pounds and 98 pence is the uh, price then we have got the magnetic uh, sheets in here now here there is a difference um, I believe there are some that are a little bit thinner and they're oh, no, I think they're all the same thickness actually uh, 20 a um, 20 magnetic sheets uh, to a4 now they are a really nice thickness they are not some some of them are a little bit flimsy, some of them are a little bit too thick, so adds too much weight to store the the, the, the dies. I think this is the perfect thickness for them. Of course, you can store your dies in here. You can store your sweet poppy metal stencils as well. Um, it is the way that, you know, like most of us store, uh, want to protect our dies and we want to store them in a way that it will work. Uh, they will, we will find them and we will uh, be able to keep them safe. Uh, you are getting 20 of them. 311012 is your item number. 19 pounds and 98 pence is your price. You're saving, making a saving of 20 pounds. Um, I would definitely um, multiply this one so I would have enough to store. Um, you know, uh, because remember, you can flexify because we are in flex extravaganza. So it means that you can buy maybe buy two sets and then uh, spread the cost and, and that would be great. Now also I wanted to, you know, just the weight of it, if you are a Freedom member and you are not paying a PMP, this is a time to stock up because it's so heavy. 
It has really, I mean, I think our Katie, our floor manager, she does a lot of um, fitness things. Mm -hmm. I think she could use this as a uh, muscle, um, how you call it that, for the, for, as a weight. Yeah, because it is quite heavy. <laughs> I'm too old for this. Anyway, uh, we are going to have a l talking about uh, starting your your dyes in here. Let's talk about a few dyes that we have got on the show. They are from Craft Cub, and you can see that you have got beautiful flowers. You have got beautiful leaves as well in there. Now I'm going to tell you, I do love that they come tapped together uh, because I would take away the the ones in the middle, those leaves in there, and then just keep the other ones in tap. So then that way I can die cut each just one pouch without having to uh, secure them onto my card. I can multi -cut, die cut it out of white card for instance and then create different techniques. Now it, they are dispatched from uh, the 13th of January of course because Kravstokov is uh, our neck from Bulgaria so of course he's based there so that accounts for the delivery time uh, and there is a good saving on this one. Now this is one of my picks uh, for um, the hour. The the reason being is because you are getting super smooth card collection. Now you are getting 160 uh, sheets uh, sheets in total. Now 300 GSM. Uh, I, I don't know what I can say about this one other than I need it. Uh, and this, you know, you know what I'm going to say is like because craft crafters, there is one thing in paper craft that you are always going. Well, there's two things that you are always going to need. One is cards and the other one is in descripts. That's one of the things that are consumables and that is a standard consumable. You get through it a lot. And the one that I get the most through it is white car sub and uh, the white super smooth, it means that it will stamp beautiful. You are going to get that crisp, clear stamping image, especially if you are using uh, something like VersaFine Claire that it gives you that crisp black, but also it means that you can if you are using your jelly plates or uh, John's uh, media plates and you want to keep getting good impressions, that ultra smooth surface is going to give you that perfect great crisp prints. Um, that also the other thing that it works really well on here is the fact that if you want to emboss it, if you want to give it that sort of uh, you know uh, power, power, um, stamping and then um, clear embossing or something like that, that relief, you know, those different techniques are going to stand out so beautifully. But also look at the brand Pink Frog Crafts. They bring us the, uh, some of the most amazing cards in here. But look at that price as well. £13.98 plus PNP. That means that you are paying less than, I don't know how many pennies per sheet, uh, sheets, but it's just amazing. Now, also, I, di I did have a little test and uh, to score it. Now, I tend to use either scoring a board or a trimmer. Uh, some, uh, Leonie never does pre scored her car. She just goes and folds it. Personally, I think, I, I used to work at the printers, and I used to work with lots of different papers, and that was, you know, 30 years ago, 20 years, whatever. Um, and I remember, uh, it, I remember my, my, you know, the printers telling me about the quality of a card. You know it by how it folds, how you score it. And here, look at how beautifully it has scored that professional look. And I just use a bone folder, of course, Maggie's bone folder for, um, from um, Cool cra cra cool Cats Crafts, uh, and a trimmer or a bone or, or an embossing tool. It's just, it's just perfect. And it's just, of course, a 300 just means that you will be able to create your blank cards perfectly then if you want to stand directly or you can mat and layer or you can create your own uh, art journals. £13.98 is your price, uh, 617168 is your item number. Now, of course, um, I'm not a f uh, soft crafter um, in the terms of or an expert soft crafter, but Zippers is something that, of course, we all sometimes need to have because if it breaks a zipper, you need to have be able to fix it. Or, for instance, the deal of the one day special from Trish is bags. So one of the things that I love about Trish's, um, uh, you know, kits is that it comes with everything you need. However, she gives you permission to um, you get also the instructions, and if you want to replicate uh, any of her bags, you can. And most of them, you know, feature at some point a zipper. 
so it's nice to get extra zippers now of course you can create little flowers also you know the other thing you, you can make lots of mixed media projects the other thing that I liked is that you can create if you sew two of them together and you keep you can create like a background with a texture so then you can then do and you can see that there are different lengths so you can create your own pattern uh, fabric with that beautiful texture of the zipper the other thing that i not notice with this is that there are different colors different lengths you can see but also the other thing is that they are um plastic zippers you know that the the teeth are plastic now you would think why is that good well it is good if you are a beginner sewer as well because um, it means that you can sew through it so, for instance, I was with um, Ali Stitchy Fingers, and she was uh, in her bags. She uses uh, the plastic ones because then she's like, "Well, yeah, because then you can sew it if you want it across, across it. So, if you make a mistake, like these ones are obviously uh, different widths, uh, different lengths." But say that you want it a little bit shorter, you can sew it that way. And you, if it's metal, it's very difficult to do that. You cannot do it with a sewing machine, hence why I like them. And I do like this one. This one is a really funky, isn't it? It would make a lovely for a pet bag. And also this one is also, I think this one is also plastic, so you could also shorten it if you want it really easily. All right, so you are getting 100 pieces in total. There is a little bit of an extended delivery. Uh, is this dispatch from the uh, 11th of January, and you are only paying 10 pounds for 100. You are saving 60 pounds. Your item number is 865386. Now, Vellum. Uh, if you if you have seen me uh, on a few shows, uh, you'll know that I have a fondness for vellum uh, because vellum or parchment, it depends. You know, I had this conversation. Um, vellum comes from. Um, veal sort of thing yeah sort of it, it comes from latin and parchment comes from it it's actually vellum is traditionally was supposed to be the most um more, one of the uh, more quality sort of parchment type of thing and then parchment you as uh, almost any animal but of course now now, uh, you know, vellum, and uh, nowadays, for vellum or parchment is, of course, completely uh, vegetable made. And, like, it's not, it's not an animal derivative. But it is traditionally the names were coming from that. And, of course, what you miss is that has got that translucent nature to it. You can, this one ha is double-sided, and it has got that pearlescent nature to it. So you have got in here that gorgeous, beautiful a shame to it. But, of course, if I put something like this, you will be able to see that translucent nature. Can you see that gorgeous? Now, why I use it so much is I like to upcycle, um, ups, you know, upcycle my water bottles and put some lanterns inside it, some uh, LED lights. And I just I just put that on, the, on like, the bottle, uh, cut the top off, put it in here, then put the LED candles or string of lights, glue it together, and then die cut something on opaque card, and then you can see the light beaming through because it's that translucent. Uh, also, what I like to do it is inserts. You can do then, of course, you can do uh, other techniques. Now, I haven't tested that one for white work, uh, but I will, you know what, I'm gonna test it now. Now, I'm not, don't have the proper tools, but one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my uh, bone folder and then kind of go through my trimmer and then, oh, by the way, my stomach is rumbling as per usual because I haven't had uh, breakfast. Um, so I'm just going to... Uh, is this, no, so this one I definitely say that is not right for white work. So if you can see a little bit, uh, probably because of the iridescent nature of it, it will be. Now, of course, this is not the best test that I'm doing here because it's not proper white work. I'm just scoring it. So, but I just don't want you to think it will work for white work. I just think that you would need to test that at home with proper tools. Your item number is 9805095. 15 pounds and 99 pence is your uh, price. Look at that saving. Of course, we have got dyes that will work perfectly with this one, which is the uh, gorgeous Nelly Snellen dies uh, or Nelly is yeah Nelly is well and I got uh, of course they come from Holland as well they are a fabulous company lovely lady 
and they have got little edges as well and you can uh, it's basically fold and die so you have got a lot of different techniques in there uh, of course you have got in there four folding dies uh, in different sizes are uh, 9.99 is your uh, price of the uh, today my stomach is really rumbling I mean it is so loud um, I need to have a proper breakfast but it tastes hard to have breakfast at 5 a.m. trust me that's the time that I need to get up in order to be here at 6 for 7 and, I, and you know what it's actually easier than you think to wake up but it is really at 5 a.m. but it's really difficult to eat at that time of the morning uh, now, um, now I'm going to grab a piece of card. Let me grab because uh, we have got here the quickie uh, glue. Now, the quickie glue is one of those items that you may not know that you need it, but you do need it. Uh, the reason being because it's one of those ones that allows you, like I, we always talk with, with Leon, is the one, one item or one type of glue that it has to be always in our, our kids. Uh, just because when we don't have it we need it uh, what allows you to do and I'm gonna turn it around it is very much uh, like a viral pen so it has got that uh, you know bulb end in here apologies for the, uh, the dirty fingers they are all from just a black gesso that I was trying to get now you can see there the tiny little ball here now of course you can then write now you need to press down and you can see here that as soon as I go the ink flows through now it it becomes blue at what well, or it is blue as soon as I put it in and that means that is really wet now it when well it's wet like so um, you can write so let's put uh, Chloe just entered the studio so I'm gonna put Chloe and then I'm gonna do write uh, Katie's here as well so you can apply now you have got there the letters and then I have got here some glitter and I'm gonna just sprinkle while it's blue it's a regular glue uh, so think blue glue uh, now I'm going to put it back in and this, okay, so there I have my, uh, there you can see there, you can see it, so that is for glitter perfect. Um, of course you can use it as well, I, some people use it for embossing powder because it will stand a little bit the, the test of heat, obviously you don't want to put it too close, however, you know, if you let it dry, now these dots, I'm doing the dots because that's about as much as I can draw. Um, or you could do, what else could I do with, oh I could do a flower. Uh, they are asking me to draw a picture of a cat but unfortunately my skills, as uh, they are not very good at drawing. But it's just doing a flower and I'm not, I don't, I really don't know how to draw. Um, but just uh, going to do a little swirl in here. Now you can see that it's starting to dry, the line of edge. Now it, they become transparent but it will not dry, dry, it will dry tacky. Um, and that is what then you then take your uh, gilding flakes to it. Once it's tacky, now it needs to be completely transparent. Can you see that it's suddenly dis disappearing? Now I cannot take my gilding flakes now because that is still blue. So it means that it still is at that uh, really super liquid state. Now when it dries clear, it means that it has become tacky enough for the gilding flakes. Now then I can take my then gilding flakes, well kind of go in here and then can you see even the finest detail. Now of course I kind of, I'm not going to the dots because they are still blue, but can you see how it has created perfectly those fine lines. So imagine if you want to have that gilding effect, the foiling effect with little tiny dots or your handwriting, you can do that. Now it didn't needs it needs to dry a little bit, but I'm gonna let it dry. Now also the other thing that they are very good for, if you have got a dye and you have got a tiny detail and you want to make sure that those bits are stuck to the paper, that allows you the fine nib allows you to add those dots of glue on the back of your die cut and make sure they glow. They, it's not it's not the super strong glue. It's not something that I would use to touch matting and layering or something heavy. I would definitely not. It's more of a highlight effect, more for your glitter your gilding flags and things like that. Your item number is 771231. Your, uh, your price is 998 for a set of four, which means that is a half price um, item.
Next time, now the pearlescent paper in here is absolutely gorgeous. Now, of course, uh, if I tell, tell, tilt it, you will be able to see that it's actually three different shades of pearlescent paper. You have got the ice white, the ice gold, and the wedding ivory. Can you see there, those three? Now, they are double-sided in that iridescent nature. Now, it is, you are getting 120 GSM, uh, they are 120 GSM, and you are getting 150 sheets in total, which I believe is 50 of each. Now, what do you use uh, pearlescent paper for? Well, personally, I use it for um, envelopes. So if you have got dies that are envelope dies, they are perfect. If you are, because 120 GSM is usually the weight of a good quality envelope. If you have got, for instance, boxes that need matting and layering, for the sides, and you want matting and layering that is not of, like, is not going to be make it too heavy. This is perfect for it. If you have got matting and layering for car making, that you want to create those perfect layers without adding that bulk, because you are going to post the card, and you don't want to be having an, a very very thick card that is very weighty. This is perfect. Inserts for wedding stationery. You know when you want to pair like a. Um, like confetti, if you want to do create your own confetti for a wedding, you have got those. Uh, this will be perfect to die cut out of it and create like lots of different confettis. The other thing I, uh, it, 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 it's quite nice is if you are going to spray into it, you, the sprays will still kind of, the shimmer will still come through. This one is not a shimmery spray, but of course, can you see the pearlescent nature is still good. So you can actually a spray, any 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 spray that is plain. I, you know, one one thing, I prefer plain sprays and then spray onto pearlescent paper or card because that way they never clogs the spray. But then I have got pearlescent in there, and you have got that beautiful thing. But look at the price: nine ninety nine pence. I nine ninety nine for a uh, hundred and fifty sheets in total. You are saving ten pounds, which means it means it's half price 9920056 is your item number now we have got Anna Griffin uh, punches which will punch beautifully this cut paper and remember punches are paper punches which means that of course the paper bundle that we just seen is perfect to create those beautiful matting and layering or inserts for your cards 659430 is your item number you are getting three border punches you are getting the base of course and then you have got the individual uh, designs three designs and you just popping them into the uh, uh, you know thumb lever uh, elements and you are only paying 9.99 for a set of three and of course Anna Griffin that timeless elegance classic designs 659430 is your item number you are just paying 9.99 uh, more paper here but you are getting in this one uh, a variety now you have getting cardstock as well as paper you are getting I'm gonna put here this is paper the beautiful brown which if you are into mixed media is absolutely stunning to have work. You know, maybe sometimes a black is too harsh, sometimes it's too, too contrast, uh, although I do like a little bit of black or a lot of black, but um, you can use the brown, the dark brown, to create that sort of contrast and matting and layering. And again, because it's paper, it doesn't add that much bulk, bulk to it. However, if you want to go, if you have come from the previous one and you have got a big occasion like uh, a wedding or something like that, you have got hair, uh, um, you have got a 300 GSM. I think this one is brushed gold. Oh, no, no, sorry, this one is the Oyster, Oyster Pearl card. Now, this one is uh, single-sided, hence why I would go for this one as well as the, um, you know, the, the previous bundle that there was paper, because I would use this as, a, as an as a, uh, insert. So if you can come for the pearlescent paper, uh, I would fold it this. Uh, let's just put it, let's do it properly. I would do that, fold it in half, let me grab my trimmer and uh, tool. This would be the insert from the previous one. And then I would take the car stock from this one. And then let's just do it like this and just put it in there. So I'm more or less, I mean, I'm not measuring correctly, but you, you get the gist of it. So just store it. 
and then I have got my A5 card and then I have got my insert from the previous one and then you have got a really superbly elegant and luxurious wedding invitation of course you can do it as an order of service or something like that you could cut it in a half and then you have got those um, you know I love these A6 um, landscape or tenfold cars and that you could do that as well with them then the other thing that you are getting in here is the brush gold which is also car stock and you're getting 40 sheets of those ones you are getting 100 sheets in total 40 40 and 20 uh, which I actually I think is a perfect um, you know ratio because you are going to use the car stock a little bit more than the brown paper um, one a two 200 is your item number uh, look at that saving saving over 70 percent 9.99 is your price and of course if you want to spread the cost of even 9.99 you can because we are in the middle of flex, flex extravaganza which means you can spread the cost in two payments paying half plus bmp today and then the rest the other half uh, next month which already is february it's just getting scary doesn't it the, the pass of time now uh red liner tape again another um you know stash builded i was saying today is this show is a perfect you know fresh new year you need to stock in the essentials and one of the essentials of course is the red liner tape what are you getting in here well you are getting four of the three mil four of the six mil two of the nine mil and two of the 12 mil red liner tape of course red liner is that uh, i'm going to put it a little bit in here so you can see it uh is that um super strong uh red red tape oh katie could i get some scissors oh she's not in uh because if, if i could get some scissors because this one you cannot tear it um you you need to cut it so the one of the reasons why i like red liner tape is because there is a lot of different techniques that i can do now i have got uh, last time i counted and that was about I don't know, maybe five years ago, I had over 87 different types of adhesive in my uh, craft room. This is one of the ones that I still have got a good selection, especially of the three mil. And I love that you are getting four reels of the, four, uh, of the three mil because that's the one that I use the most for construction. Now, we are a quarter of the stock gone. Thank you, Katie. Uh, always there for us when we need her now of course I'm trimming the the red liner tape I would um, at home I would use my um, do you know the titanium coated scissors those ones are the ones I would recommend or you can clean your or your scissors to make sure that the stickiness don't okay. get but once that you get rid of the red liner of course hence the name it's a completely clear glue uh, or adhesive so you can see there that you cannot see it right so then because it's super strong oh Let's grab a little bit of um, the everybody's not, um, the floor manager's nightmare, which is the gilding flakes because it gets everywhere. I love it. I love that. It, you know, if it gets, in, I use it in my studio, and it gets everywhere. And then I have got a gilding, uh, my gilding cage, my gilded cage, <laughs> like kind of a gold cage. So yeah, I put a little bit of gilding flakes in here, and of course the difference between this and the. Um, the quick glue is that the quick glue it gives me a, a, a free range and makes, it makes me a V free hand whether this will give me that perfect line which are border which I wouldn't be able to do also because is um, this is super uh, sticky it means sorry I'm gonna be I'm gonna put it in here I was gonna be very naughty and drop it in the floor but I don't I wouldn't want to do that to our Katie but you can see in here look at here you can use quite funky I mean obviously this is just to the, just to show you but you can use and then you have a perfect uh, perfect um, perfect border in there um, of course you could do that a little bit proper but if that allows you to create matting and layering or oh, full matting and layering with red liner tape to create that kind of border with glitter the other thing you could do that sorry I'm gonna put that in there so just just so, um, 
The other thing, of course, for construction is it's super strong. So if you are making boxes and you don't like wet glue, the three mil is perfect for the thinner flaps as well as the uh, the one that this the six mil also that you're getting. And remember, you are getting twelve rolls in total, and you are only paying nine ninety nine, which you can spread the cost, of course, with flex extravaganza zero eight two five three zero is your item number. But you know, imagine that you did that all in gold flakes. I mean, wouldn't that be lovely? And then just the wedding invitation uh, sentiment in there, that would be done. Uh, of course, then we have got more paper. Paper on card. Price per lesson in one sense. So we have got, look at that. Now, we have got ice gold and uh, latte shimmer. The latte shimmer it's very, very soft. Um, I would say this, the shimmer is not soft, but the, the latte is just kind of a warm, kind of gold kind of color. Uh, this, you can see Paula has been here because there is my fingerprint in there. You are getting 50 of each, and of course it is, um, I would say this is 250, yeah, so this is 250, perfect for cards, uh, boxes, and then uh, the other one is, to ten. Now, actually, I would say that latte is to ten, and the um, ice. Oh, so that's the latte. That's the latte. Sorry, and then the that's to fifty, and the uh, ice gold is to to ten. That's latte. That's more of a grey color to me. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. It's just, it's just. But anyway, whichever. It, it, I would say that this is more to me. Like you know, just I don't want you to think that it's more of. I think that is more like. A, uh, I wouldn't. I would say a steel color, a steel, a very s platinum. I would say that this is proper platinum, and I would say, just saying, yeah, this is platinum. So you can see that it's really, really, yeah. So I would say that it, because it has a warmth to it, the platinum has got, so it's not silver. So I would say the warmth from it uh, is definitely, I would say it's more of a platinum than a latte, because if you think latte is a little bit more brown, um, you know, uh, but because, you know, I know how it is as a crafter. We want, like, it's hard sometimes to convey the colors. And of course, I don't want you to think that it's more brown to that is silver. And I think it's just, yeah, it's just that platinum sort of thing. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And being 250 GSM, it means that you will be able to die cut boxes beautifully out of it. Now, I think we have sorted. I mean, I don't know why I keep going for weddings, but this will make perfectly for Faber boxes because you are getting 50. Why don't you multiply it? And then that way you have a hundred of each. Uh, 9.98 is your item, uh, your price. You are saving 20 pounds. 612357 is your item number. Then we have got also decoupage pay. So that would per work perfectly for your, uh, you know, your cars. You can then put them inside of here. Of course, you have got, I believe it's from Art Summer Sparkle. So it's a lucky dip, which means that it will be a variety of designs, assorted designs, of course. Uh, now, of course, you have got, uh, you know, Christmas uh, elements in there. You can maybe have some, maybe you will get some spring ones. Maybe you will get some summer ones. Uh, how about some creatures? I don't know, it's a lucky dip. You, but what it is, it's reassured, of course, because it's out from Summer Sparkle, is that you are going to get quality designs uh, from top brands in, in Continent. Uh, of course, 40 sheets in total, and you are going to just pay 9.99 for them. Now, this is one of my top picks for the hour. Uh, could I have some water, please? Because this is kind of getting into a point where... I don't know you, but kind of a. Anyway, um, we have got here. It's one of my top tips. Uh, the, here we have got. Uh, this is. What I love this bundle because for twenty four pounds ninety nine, you are getting uh, amazing value for money. You are getting forty eight of these ten by ten MDF covers. Now you, they are clip um, board wood, which means that you, if you have a sutter, a scrap, okay, um, a sutter binder you will be able to punch through them. Of course, you will not be able to die cut it. You will not be able to hole punch it with anything other than the Zotter uh, scrap, um, you know, what's that, the Zotter um, binder, which is a tool that it, uh, it 
I think Leone had it a couple of months ago, and I have had it for years and years, and it's one of my go-to tools to create my own art journals. You are also getting two packs of the wires so you can create you know you bind it together you can use the whole thing or you can cut them so sometimes i just do six holes here at the top and six ho holes in the bottom and then that way i kind of it's easier the whole project is easier to put together you also are getting so you are getting 48 so you're getting tw uh, 24 packs and you're getting two on each which means that is absolutely fabulous money for uh, f um, value for money uh the other th item that you are gonna get uh, you are also getting is this covers, uh, which is your travelogue covers, you can see there. So you can pop that out, and then you have got the aperture, and you are getting the base as well that is all in one go. You are getting, I believe, is it six of this one? And then you are getting six of the um, Halloween one. Now, I was saying that I'm not, I don't, I like the imagery of Halloween, but I don't necessarily, I am a one that crafts for Halloween. So what I would do, and yet I do travel a lot. Uh, now, uh, now of course, what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm going to show you, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of card in here. Uh, don't do this at home, but, you know, don't use your, your nice ca uh, card to 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 cover your uh, our working surface but look at that if you do that um, you just kind of completely I'm going to just so it to show you how nice it kind of covers even if it's glossy you can cover it perfectly I should have been more careful because I kind of think that would look amazing if I can uh, and then I'm going to just put it there can you see and see how nice you can cover it all up. I would do two layers just because this gesso is a little bit, um, you know, it would it would be required to two layers. Uh, and then, uh, and then you will have a perfect um, base. Now, what I would do is cut, paint one, and then take another one. Okay, so let it that one dry in here, and then let it no i'm not gonna clean my oh well that happened let's put it there uh then i'm gonna take another one so i'm just gonna uh, okay so you can affect it there you have it that's the halloween and by the way it's by teresa collins which is an amazing crafter entrepreneur amazing uh, inspiration she's lovely as well and then you take and then you take it here and then uh, you do i will glue two together to add a, an extra depth to it so create a, sh a, a shadow frame and then i would take the other one okay so and then just put it like that with some foam pads and that will create a shadow box a perfect so then i kind of just put in here the um maybe some die cut flowers or something like that so it will create a something very very beautiful you can then of course use your own papers to cover that up uh, i would paint these ones as well so then you have got and then you i will use these to um maybe the decoupage paper but flowers will look amazing on there then i would glue these ones together and i will create you know the foam you know, oh no, I know what I would do. Sorry, I'm just kind of going on a tangent here. I would use these to glue them. So if I have got some glue in here, uh, red liner tape, yeah, I have got red liner tape. Or uh, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, if you have got the red liner. So I take that. The reason is, I'm just showing, uh, then, okay. So then, I'm just showing how, what, how you can create a, a kind of a shadow box, like a, the substrate in here. Uh, the crafting on TV is not as easy, especially of the cuff, as um, in my l some people make it look like. And it's funny that I have been making um, doing this for a few years, but when you're on your own, it's a little bit more pressure. Uh, okay, so that comes there. So now what I would do, can you see? Now that will add the height of it. So then you can then create that kind of your own 
um, shadow bo box frames, which are quite expensive to buy sometimes. And now you can make and make it your own. Now remember, you are getting six of the Teresa Collins Halloween and six of the Teresa Hallow uh, um, travel ones. So it means that you are getting uh, twelve of the frame ones with those ones and and twelve of the plain ones. That's. Oh. I'm making a mess today. Oh, let's put it back. It's, just, it's one of those days, isn't it? It's one of those days. Anyway, there you go. And it's only started. Well, actually, no, after this, um, half of my working day will be done. So, anyway, uh, so that's, that's, that's the... But look, you can you see the frame in here? So there is so much you can do. I really <laughs> want to play with this one a lot more than I do. Anyway, your item number is 407792. pounds and 99 pence is your uh, your price. Um, yeah, I, I actually, funny enough, I thought that it, you know, the, it would be really hard to do the morning, early mornings, but it's actually I'm really enjoying. And one of the reasons is because the whole team is so lovely to work with, but also I get to craft sometimes, and I get to meet my be with my friends, so it's all good. Uh, anyway, we have got here punches, paper punches. Now, of course, paper punches are for paper. Now, they are from Crafts too, and here you have got, uh, uh, you know, the, the Christmas selection. They are dispatched from the uh, 6th of uh, January. Um, now, if you, this little, say, uh, you know, kind of, this, I think it's like a, a tooth, tooth guard, is it? A teeth guard, is, is it, you call it, you know, like, uh, uh, no, they, actually, what it is, is just so, when they are in transit, or if you are uh, storing them on top of each other, they stop them from leaning on top of each other, and it could have and uh, some, you know, it could be damaged. But I usually take it away and never worry about that again. Uh, what you do is, um, yeah, you know what, life is. But you know that uh, that attention to detail from the um, the company means that they have actually taken care of the dismal details. And look at that beautiful size. Now they are for paper so I would recommend to get the paper from Pink Frog. That would work really well. One of the reasons I like punches is because it's very quick and easy. You don't have to get your, uh, you know, your plates, your, your die cutting machine, your everything out. And especially for children, it's very safe. So they can just kind of go in and punch and punch and punch. And then just put it, you know, and then you have lots of stars put it as close as possible to you and just lean on it do not have to, if you put it away from you you have to, like the weight of uh, that gets lost in the in the in, in that kind of movement if you put it close and just lean in it you don't put any strength it's just your own body weight that does all the work uh, now your item number is six five eight and nine six two is your item number nine ninety nine is your price of course saving of uh, 15 pounds now satin fabric Mm, I love that. Uh, of course, the satin fabric you have got here is the bright, uh, bright and uh, bold, beautiful colors. But you also get the white, you get the baby blue, the bright, shiny yellow, of course, the deep navy. And you are getting, oh, look at the sh happy pink as well as the emerald green and that glorious ruby red. And then you... I think it's more of a Merlot than a ruby red. Uh, and then Merlot is a little bit like more wine, more, it has got a more of a blue undertones and a, a ruby has got more of a pink undertones than that. And then of course you have got that gorgeous black. Now if you want to, um, you are getting one meter by 54 inches um, in each. So you are getting eight meters in total of those beautiful colors. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price. And of course you're saving 24 pounds. 537162 is your item number. If you want to spread the cost, of course you can because we are in the middle of Flex Extravaganza. And do you want to know more about Flex Extravaganza? Here is a video to explain you how it all works. It's Flex Extravaganza time, folks! From Wednesday the 1st of January at 9am to Wednesday the 8th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2020 by bringing you our Flex Dravaganza event. 
If you add at least £5 worth of any item to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of the entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Wednesday, the 1st of January, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Well, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of crafting here, but just to show you um, that we have got the MDF. Um, so, uh, by the way, I didn't even reference to the amazing uh, Flex Travagans event that we are, um, that Adam was explaining about in that video. But, you know, it is like even £11.98, pence. you can spread the cost of that if you wanted to. Uh, but you can see the MDF, how nice it then, and uh, how quickly with gesso, you can paint it over and then therefore you have got a perfect uh, coverage. Um, it's super smooth. One of the things I notice is that it doesn't kind of, some MDF kind of absorbs the ink uh, or the paint very quickly and it doesn't, it's, it's not the, you know, it just doesn't enjoy the pro you don't enjoy the process of painting. With these are just so nice to 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 color uh, to paint over it. I'm gonna leave it here to dry. The other thing I was thinking is to take some graphic fortified. By the way, we have got at eleven o'clock is coming in. This one is the um, the Bloom collection. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Now I'm gonna go and take. Oh, it's a second. Now uh, I'm gonna take one of these glorious. Oh, look at that. That is just so beautiful. But now oh, we are incredibly busy. We have got cues on the phone, so please do check out. Uh, you know, go to the website because it's the fastest way to do that. Uh, I'm going to take my red liner tape in here, uh, and then. Uh, by the way, we are 70% gone for the red liner tape. So if you want yours, do check out your baskets for it. Now, uh, the, of course, the red liner tape, uh, you can use it for constructions. You can use it for a lot of different um, ways that, you know, like for your boxes. You can also use it as I am using now into my MDF. Now, if I am... If I am uh, going to be honest, probably I would use wet uh, glue for um, the MDF because um, it's, it's kind of the stronger bond. Well, not stronger bond. It's like kind of it's porous to porous uh, surface. However, I know lots of you that do not like wet glue. Therefore, or you are just starting to crafting and then you want to have something that is a little bit easier to work with than uh, wet glue. And sometimes that's the case. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting the liner. I removed it, but then I kind of flip over those bits in there. So now that then I can go in with my beautiful. Um, 12 by 12 from graphic 45 and then kind of go in there put it into the corners so this is me being you know then take it over take my large scissors and then then kind of go in there. okay now then uh, this one is um uh, Bird song collection. I think this one is. Sorry, I'm going to ask you. Because this one is called Bird song collection. That's one A is at eleven, I think. Uh, now I'm going to trim that bit in here. That's the oriental. Uh, this is kind of oriental. So now kind of kind of, and then going to go in with a sander, and then uh, it's not a craft forty-five bundle. It is the um, yeah. It is the bird song uh, collection. It is at eleven, and then kind of going like this. And I has got that oriental tone. So then I have got that done, and you can see how quickly. Then then I can go in, and then take some of the chipboards, and then so you can then put something like this, and then just put a uh, holes in here, and then you just put some ribbon. But you can see how quickly and easily you can create the base of your uh, MDF uh, projects in here. Now I'm going to put it in here so they know that it's been done. And then, and then you know what you can, I can do is the reverse of it. You can then oh, look how gorgeous that would look in here. There's so much. Anyway, 
you have got a lot of different options. I'm going to put that away so then we can have that aside. But of course, you can paint it. You can do your mixed media projects. What do you get in this bundle? Is actually you are getting 45 pieces of MDF. Uh, you know, you are getting 30 of the 80 coins, which are perfect to create your beautiful. It's perfect for different techniques. So I would kind of create like one technique in each of these circles. Or then you can use it as an advent calendar. Or you can use it as a, ca a calendar for the days of the month. Of course, you are getting 30. So I, then I would take maybe one of the hearts for the 31st. So then it's a kind of extra treat when it's a, a longer month. Uh, you have got also not only you are getting three of the larger shapes of each. So you are getting the tall and skinny heart of more of a primitive sort of shape. The more rounded um, heart in there, and then you are getting as well those gorgeous, uh, you know, traditional oval plaque with the two holes. You are getting three of the oval, three of the uh, traditional plaque with the inverted rounded corners in there, as well as the one that I just uh, just quickly co cover it, and that will make a perfect cover for a uh, you know art journal or mini album. I was just piercing through it, and of course I just use a red liner tip to attach it, and then you could then ink these distresses, maybe put you know. I know what I would do. I would do like, um, you know, I like a tall and a skinny a monogram, maybe for, maybe say, uh, if it was for the Leonie and Elle, or Natasha, our new presenter that has just joined us here at Hochanda. Uh, then you can then put uh, like a ring binders, and then you can put inside, print it some paper, and put like maybe new, um, you know, new th for thoughts, something like that, and something very special to have. Now, then we have got, of course, the magnetic sheets. We are very busy. 20 sheets in total, A4, uh, really strong, uh, magnetic, on one side, so you can put your store, your dice, your um, and, and I love the ones that are on one side because you can put your magnetic uh, dice on one side and then on the other, the matching stamps. Sorry, I need some water. And it's like, mm, you know, sorry, and then uh, kind of, uh, yeah, let's put it like this. <laughs> mm. Sorry about that. Uh, so you are getting 20 sheets in total, uh, 19 pounds and 98 pence. Perfect for your uh, dies as well as your uh, gorgeous um, your sweet poppy stencils there, which are metal. Now, uh, aside from the magnetic sheets, we, this is one of my top picks. It is absolutely beautiful cardstock. You are getting 160 sheets in total of the 300 GSM. Amazing, super smooth card. Of course, A4, and of course, that name, Pink Frog Crafts. The quality of their car stock is always extraordinary. I you know it's, you know, I have been playing with this one, and I absolutely love to stamp on it. I love to die cut it. You can die cut it. Of course, it's 300 GSM, which means that I would use more mostly dies that are a little bit more open, but I have die cut intricate butterflies with it and with no problem. Of course, it will depend on your die cutting machine. Uh, saving over 30%, you are only paying 13 pounds and 98 pence for all this uh, car stock. Uh, now, of course, uh, the uh, 617168 is your item number. I mu would multiply it and, of course, flexibly it because now we are in flex extravaganza, which means that you can spread the cost into payments, paying half today and half next month. Um, now, we have got zippers here. And Janice loves her good zippers, so do I. Um, now, this, these ones, I love the zippers because, um, you know, one thing I have learned, and every day I learn th new things I hear at Hochanda from our amazing guests. And one of the things I learned a la uh, last week with, from Ali was the, the fact that you can, uh, zippers that are, uh, you know, plastic inside the teeth are plastic. It means that you can sew over them with a sewing machine without being in a fear of breaking the needle. And of course, that is what these ones are. So the fact that you have got different lengths, different colors, is perfect because you can then be sure that if you go for Trisha's uh, bangs and you want to replicate time and time again, you will need zippers for some of the project. And then this will be perfect because then you can just sew over depending on different lengths. Of course, you have got different colors from more that, you know, sort of flesh color, that beautiful mint, that gorgeous teal. You have got purple. And look at that. You have a tiny one, but you have got a longer one. You have got that beautiful, bright pen, those kind of more intense. You are getting 100 pieces in total of assorted lengths and colors, 865. 386 is your item number, paying 10 pounds and making a saving, massive saving, you know, 60 pounds. Vellum. 
Vellum, vellum, vellum. We love vellum. Uh, this one is a uh, paper vellum. So it is about, I would say this is about, feels about 90 GSM, 100 GSM. Of course, it's iridescent silver on both sides. Uh, you ha it's perfect for inserts. It's perfect to creating windows. It's perfect to create my sort of lanterns. If you do boxes and you like to have like apertures and you want to have panels that are vellum, this is perfect for you. Your item number is 980509. 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Uh, we have sold, we have the news that we have sold out of the red liner tape, hence it's not making an appearance uh, back again, but it is a fabulous deal. So there you have the details are bygone because it's sold out. Another very popular item is the quickie glue. Now, as you can see, when I put it, it's like a viral pen that has got that nice, nice uh, fine nozzle. Apologies for my black fingers is that gesso it is a really good quality gesso that gets you know ev everywhere uh, there we have got when you press it down you can see the nice flow of the, uh, the of the glue now when you put it down it has got that blue tint that means that now is the time to put your uh, sprinkle your glitter over it uh, but then when it dries you can see the one that I have done here before it the, if I tilt it there, you can see the, let's see, uh, the, the, you can see the, uh, the, oh, that's there. Can you see the flower there? And uh, that has dry tacky, has got a tackiness. Now, that means that then you can go in with your gilding flakes in here. And, of course, you need to just rub it in and then, and then look at that. Suddenly, the gilding flakes will attach themselves to it. And there you have it. There, you have, there it is. So you can write your names and then gild it, and they get that for the fact, that really expensive for the fact with them. Uh, your item number is oh, uh, 771 231, set of four. You're paying just 998 and saving 10 pounds. So basically, it's half price. Now, we have got just one minute, so I'm going to quickly mention the uh, car stock that I a bundle of paper that we have got. It's a hand between 100 GSM, uh, yeah, it says 100 GSM, so it is paper. Uh, 150 sheets in total, so you are getting 50 sheets of the ice white, uh, 50 sheets of the uh, ice gold, and 50 of the wedding ivory. Double sided pearlescent with a, you know, kind of in subtle differences between them. Perfect for inserts, perfect for matting and layering, perfectly uh, to for so many different things. We have got 30 seconds, so we have time to mention the car stock. So we have got the cars, we have got um, paper on cars, the brownish paper, uh, the pearlescent cars is a car, so perfect for uh, creating your blank cars, you're creating your invitations and so much more. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, after the break, there is a one day special, of course, uh, Leonie, Natasha and uh, Trish are going to be for that. Join them after the break. Have a great day. Oh, sorry, my timing is again rough. Oh. oh, timing. Always failing at that. Uh, so totally, Trisha, one day special. Uh, Castle Craft after that. Graphic 45, then at 11. Do join Leonin for that. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please 
Join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been paper crafting for over 20 years now. You could say it's a passion of mine. Uh, Sentimentally Yours is my award-winning brand of craft products. I design stamps, paper pads, uh, tools, embellishments, all the things that we need to help us enjoy our crafting. My aim with Sentimentally Yours is to bring unique, top quality, innovative designs for every level of crafter. So whether you are a beginner or whether you are more experienced, there will be something for you. On my Sentimentally Yours shows on Ho Chanda, I will be doing my best to teach and educate you on how to get the most from the products, but always with a laugh and a giggle. Make sure you join me and tune in for my Sentimentally Yours shows on Ho Chanda. the middle bit on that and just say a flexi ganza it, it works <laughs> it works that middle bit just messes with me head <laughs> anyway it's lovely to have your company it's lovely to have our trisha in the building oh thank you well, yeah, one yeah. day special <laughs> and of course our lovely natasha Hello. a seven show on my first day i know it's boom. spoiling me boom. <laughs> it's so exciting isn't it yes Oh, it's, there are some gadgets. You've got to, you've got to wait. I mean, we've got beautiful things down here, but we've got gadgets that. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was funny because, like, when we were in the prep meeting, and like these two, like, oh, is it such and such fabric? Is it this? And it like, wee over my head. <laughs> you zoned out. For I, was a like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and but yeah, really looking forward to you two working together. I think it'll be fabulous because yes. you've already had a nice chat. Oh yes, oh, yes. yes. We could talk oh, for yes. England, I think. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is going to be lovely. We're going to be sending the test off for a little bit, but we'll be meeting you at the demo area. Indeed. I will see you there. See Hello. you later, my love. Um, okay, now the one day special. It was really busy last night. All right, and these are wonderful. Your creations, obviously. We've got two brand new ones. We've got two. You might see them before, you, but you might not. Um, it was mm. funny because when we were chatting about bags, yes, bags are the, they're essential. They are, they and are. And we like a different bag for every single day. We do. If we could. Yeah. Husband if says to me, who needs another bag? And I said, well, everybody does. Well, you yeah. know, you need something different, slightly yes. different, bigger, larger, yeah. flap over there, handles, yeah. zip for... Some up for summer, some up for yes, winter, yes. some up for just going shops. You can never have too many bags. Absolutely. And they make great gift ideas. They do. And they make fantastic um, things, not just for, for bags. I mean, that one. That mm. one is lovely for storage around the home. Yes. Isn't yes. it? That looks beautiful as it is. That's lovely, Trisha. That, yes, that's the denim carry it. I really and the like pattern that. with that, there's three sizes, as you're going to see. See, don't they look they're, cute? I know. For, I know. for around the home, for storage. Yes. They so, are absolutely beautiful. Depending on what you want. So say it's makeup oh. that you just want to sit. Why not have the small one? Yeah. Um, if you want, let's see. You've got your hair stuff in there. Yeah. My hair yeah. dryer, my straighteners. Um, and then you can have those two with your different products. That's right. And Absolutely then, gorgeous. For making minimal storage, if you're not using one, mm. stack it inside the other. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not taking up that much space. Oh, close, oh. close. See that? Ooh, those reflexes, they weren't born of an early morning get up, were they? They'll be calling you up for a sports team soon. <laughs> I bet they won't. <laughs> I'm always rubbish at that. Um, they're beautiful. That is only one of the patterns. So you're getting the full patterns um, that Trisha's put um, done for you with photographs. I mean, these are really good patterns. Well, look, I've had good feedback in that people are, are able to understand because you've got the words, and yeah. if you follow those words, um, by all means, read the whole way through a pattern because I've read that. that yeah. um, but if you're like me, it's like with, a, say, a sewing machine. Just get in there. I don't read the yes, manual. How me, naughty yeah. is that? Yeah. But here, if you read one step at a time, yeah. just read what it says and then look at what you're doing and your, how your fabric sits and look at the picture yeah. and you'll be able to see that you're going in the right direction. Amazing. Um, so that is just one of the bags. Let's show mm -hmm. the other a look at this. 
this is fab this is my favorite oh. that is just so cute at the minute i am yeah. so into like backpacks and you know that kind of yes look. yes and this fits yeah. in beautifully i love this uh, what's but the sort of skill level to make your bag star trish ev everything is easy enough for a beginner to make along with the wow. instructions they really are because I try to make everything um, as as easy as it possibly can be. Yeah. Um, if if people have got the time to to spend on something a little bit more intricate, then you know that's absolutely fine. But nowadays, yeah. so many of us haven't got enough time. No. So we want it done quickly. Yeah. And simply. So I find easier techniques to give the same brilliant finish Perfect. as if you were doing it you know another say traditional way see i love that because obviously you're cutting out a lot of the faff essentially yes. but yes. you're still getting really good results that's right now yes. this is one of the brand new designs it is yes we've got the pattern in the one day special if you want the pattern with the gorgeous fabrics that our Trish has made we have got that as a separate one we will we'll be showing you this in a minute I like these and when we were chatting as well mm -hmm. you were saying that yeah like with every pattern you try and bring in a new idea or a new that's technique. right yes so that um, it's a little bit of a learning curve it's giving you a broader knowledge yeah. of how to make all the different projects um, that you take on yeah. so it might be a new project to you um, but you might be able to think now Trisha did it this way yes. i wonder if i can do that and it gives you um, a more open mind to be able to take on yes. more things rather than i can only go for something classed as beginner yes. level and very basic yeah but I, I truly believe even a beginner could actually do these i love that i love it because it just gives you confidence mm -hmm. you know you build up all your skill sets which is amazing because yes. yeah that that's what well that's their whole aim isn't it of teaching that's right that is lovely this is one of the new ones as well yes isn't it? that's right yes that one's the rowena that's and gorgeous um so i think you know we've got a zip in here so that might not be something you want to tackle as your first project yeah yeah but with all the photographs you'll be able to see and the wording exactly where you should put it yeah and I so love for, that. that's such a yeah, cute bag, isn't it? for a more established stitcher yeah um you can you can take it one step further you know yeah. you might also have an embroidery machine you might uh, want to personalize it you might want yes. to put your own embroidery design on there as well yeah. you might want to do additional stitching yeah um, all those things that as I say somebody who's sewed for a little while that wants to take it one step further yeah. the basics are there so yeah. that it's um, capable uh, for everybody yeah it mm. allows you to do whatever mm. you want with um, now the lovely thing is with these so with the patterns you're getting all four patterns that price essentially you're buying um, three patterns you're getting one for doubt that's the way this price works because you are making a ten pound saving um, a lot of work goes into these because obviously uh, Trisha has to you know have the idea have the inspiration test it try mm. it and then writing instructions is a mm. long process it is. especially with the photographs in there as well I mean that is no mean feat and it is it's one of those that if you do anything wrong when you write it you have to go straight back to the beginning don't you yes, um, but yes. yeah so all that time and effort and of course those beautiful finished samples that you are going to make um now brand new to a brand new two you may have seen before but you might not have seen those you might have missed out on that that is your one day special only available till this evening and you are making that 10 pound saving a five eight one eight three seven so that's the one day special but the two brand new ones we have got in kit form so first of all the quint quintessa that's right yes yes <laughs> i'm sorry I, I choose some unusual names as i'm, I'm going through um from a to z so this... you have to give yourself when you're naming things or it's so yes. difficult isn't yes it? yes so i'm, I'm like actually that. different I, you know <laughs> quintessa I, I, darling quintessa. <laughs> quintessa. Um, so this one you're getting the full kit mm. but the fabrics are divine look mm. at that fabric i know no. as soon as I saw that I thought I need to have it I don't yeah. know what it's going to be for yet <laughs> um, but it, it came into its own here that is beautiful see 
you marrying that up, of course, with that gorgeous denim. Yes. And the denim's a lovely weight as it well. It is. It, it's not stiff, because you can get some which are particularly yeah. stiff. And it's not soft and, you know, flops about. Um, it's, it's got some body to it, yeah. but not too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful and it's yeah. a lovely colour. So you're also getting, now, the actual yes, back clasp. That's, that's right. lovely because that gives it a, rig a rigidity. It does. But also that makes it really safe. It, I mean, yes. it's not easy to get your hands in it there, isn't, is no. it? No, you can just pull that or you can pull the handles. The handles are stitched on nice and substantially. Yeah. So you can just pull that apart. But the nice thing is when it's open is you've got, yes. you know, you're not going into that small area. Yeah, you've and got pull, good yeah, rummage that's room. that's right, yeah. Pop it, it on the table and yes, rummage you room. get in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, how many people are sat at home going, yeah, I can relate to that. Yes. Because yes. there's nothing worse than trying to find some at the bottom of your bag. No. We all know it, even no. a small bag. It, yeah, we can fill these things, can't yes, we? We yes. make them into lethal objects, <laughs> don't we? So, yeah. your two options. Yeah. That's the first one. That's the universe, which is absolutely exquisite. 40% of the stock has gone, however. Um, the second option is the Ink Batik. Now, that is, again, absolutely yes. beautiful. Lovely quality fabric. Yeah, the, these are Macau Batiks. So you will always get quality with uh, Macau fabrics. And I love it because when, um, yeah, when Natasha was chatting to you, she was like, oh, um, is it, you know, what, what's the make? Oh, yeah, Macau. I mean, me, I, I <laughs> know, but yeah, you girls know exactly what you're on about. And you've also got, is yes. this it the, the, that you put inside? Yeah. No, actually, th this, is, this is wrong. Um, this <laughs> should be the foam um, stabilizer, right. which is um, a fleeceline product. Uh, right. Vileen, you'll probably remember the name of. And it's a foam. It's about right. three, four millimetres thick, so it's in this yeah, bag. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. Is that what they're going to get then? That's right. You're going right. to get that. I've, I've done it in this op this option because um, it is this Thermalam, which I also, it's also a Vileen product. Right. I use this in a lot of the bags because it's a little bit softer, but it's still mm. got some body. Yeah, it does. But it depends. So when, um, you know, if you buy one of these kits and with your instructions you want to make some more, yeah. I was just making the other option in with the Thermalam yeah. just to show the difference. Yeah. So the, the foam it, one you can scrunch up yeah. and it will spring back into shape. Yeah. Um, this one you just need to pop back into shape. But right. not everybody likes a stiff bag. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in the actual kit they're getting the, the foam. The foam, one. that's right. Excellent. Indeed. And the foot, I mean that really does hold its own. Mm. So that's what you're getting. Have a look inside because that material is just beautiful. I do like that when you've got that pop of colour when yes. you open a bag. Yes. I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm using Usually one for going for a light, a pale fabric um, on the inside yeah. because then it's light and bright. You can see what you're going yes, for. Yes. But because we've got these clasps and because you've got that opening that you can yeah. get into, I thought it doesn't matter that we've gone for. Yes you know, a more sparkling focal yes, lining. I love it. Yeah. I think your choices are beautiful. And it's nice because you've just got those little yes. accents on the outside, which works so well with that denim. The colour palette mm. there is beautiful. Now, you've got your options, only 2999 That's for the full thing. So you're going to get, you're going to get your full instructions as you well, do. of you course. You do, everything. And the fabric will be cut to size as amazing. well. Amazing. So, so time saving. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is amazing. Um, if you would like to get hold of that, 7 4 and all. It isn't. <laughs> 780 that's your item number. Now, next is your beautiful Rowena. So, with yes. the Rowena, again, you're getting everything. Um, you do get, and again, with this one, yes. even though it's got a zip, you still have yes, this the, is, the, the structure. That's right. So, it's not the hinged clasp. Yeah. This time, we have um, a wire bag frame. Right, okay. Um, and these are very easy to insert. Not that these aren't, but there's yeah. a little technique with um, the Quintessa bag. Yeah. But this one, as you see, when you open yeah. it, yeah. that also stays open yeah. because you've got that wire frame in there. It really does give it that, that structure to the bag. It and does. it does, yeah, it keeps that. So, again, when you're having a rummage, the bag isn't falling in or, no. or anything. That is wonderful. Yeah. And with this one, will it be the foam again that it you're going to It is going to be the foam again. So, yes, yeah, so And, of course, all the materials cut. I do, again, yes. the material is beautiful. Yes. That is gorgeous. Yeah. So, this is also a Macau fabric from the Indigo range. And it's 55% linen and 45 ah, cotton. It feels so, lovely. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. that is so, so pretty. All cut to size. Um, yeah, and your bag lining. Now, this yes. time you're comfort, but look at that. It's sort of a plain mm. lining, but that is really <laughs> nice. That's, um, it is a cotton, 
but it's a little bit heavier weight yeah. so yeah. it also gives the bag um, that bit more structure as well that's stunning um everything you need there the zip everything's color uh, matched as well so it all goes uh, ties in beautifully together of course you are going to get your full instructions just 29 pounds 99 pence over a third of the stock has gone with your rowena um, and that is one of your brand new items that is one nine zero seven six zero now we've also got for you the gorgeous boutiques look mm. at these oh these yes. are nice they are um the dragonfly one's a little wow. bit different but here you will get um colors may be different they may vary right um so you'll get five fat quarters um Oof. all macau brand look at them so you know you're getting a quality fabric beautiful and the color palette so they might vary but they're going to be lovely they, they will be yes whatever absolutely. you're going to get you're going to yeah. be it's going to be beautiful and then do we get the pattern as yes, well yes yeah i always like to have a little bit of inspiration i know we sewers we do love um fabric yeah and yeah. that you don't need a reason to buy it if your yeah. eyes say have it then <laughs> you have it yeah um but i by giving a little bit of inspiration here's something that you could make as well yes yeah. so this is just um and a, a trip around the world Beautiful. which is that's a lovely technique to yeah. make as well yeah, and it but looks that could, amazing yeah you know that could be a bag as well not that size could. yeah but um it gives you the inspiration to yeah. make something else with that technique absolutely and that is wonderful because obviously you're going to use that again with other fabrics of yes, course yes um if you do want that kit that is absolutely stunning um 19 pounds and 99 pence that's for your five fat quarters plus of course full instructions for that beautiful quilt that is nine four five two five one now our lovely trisha is going to be joining our natasha for the demonstration i'll tell you to look at the website um, and that is where you're going to see all the fabulous goodies that our Trisha's brought in. Um, there's loads of stuff on here, loads of crafty essentials. I'm um, talking of essentials, that essential bundle. Um, I know Natasha's dying to show you this because that is really cool. And the bobbin clips, I know Natasha will like, what? They're amazing. So um, we will be talking about all of those, all available for you. Um, magnetic bag class as well. So there's lots of good essentials on there that you might want to add to your uh, to your collection i know the the leather bag buckles they have book book uh, do i say that right anyway um they have buckles they have been really busy the blue one is limited on those so there is another option so when you see in there but that is limited um now if you do want anything check your baskets out at chanda.com or you can ring us 01733602000 and remember if you spend over five pounds you can open a flexi basket if you want um please make sure um you ring up or um email us if you need anything because obviously these are live hours um so if you do need anything then please please do get in touch with us and we do want emails in as well to welcome our lovely natasha um to the to the program and to obviously her chanda um now then is everything good Yes, everything's good to go. I can hand over to the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what is so lovely is turning up, obviously, a new channel for me and seeing some of my favourite products on the show with the Fiskars. Aha. Uh -huh. <sighs> love that. Fiskars love Fiskars. Trish, thank you uh, for being You're on well. here this morning with me. Um, I thought I had seen pretty much every gadget out there. <laughs> I stand corrected. You've bought things I've not seen before. Good, good. Wait till you see this. I'm <laughs> so excited. I'm going to go. I'm going to bring that in later. Uh, and I'm going to go for this bundle here, okay? It's the essentials. And it is so essential because, hang on, I'm going to borrow one of these out of here. Ladies. How many times, and gentlemen, actually, that was very sexy, I'm sorry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, when you get bobbins, what is the thing that happens? We whack them in a drawer or in a mm. pot, and what happens? They come unraveled, and, and it becomes a mess. But what if, and this is what I've never seen before, you have a little clip. Ah, genius. And that's it, it's not going to unravel. Just, just... Of course we need these. Mm -hmm. Of course we, we do. do. Why have I not seen these before? Where have these been all my life? The other thing is, when you've got a bobbin and you've got matching colours, which she says with completely non-matching ones, but that's because you've just taken the one... That oh, yes, I've with. got a pink one there. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll take the pink one. So, again, if you want to keep them together, you just slot yes. that in there, and then 
matching bobbin yes <laughs> i have lots of very similar shades and i never pick the right color that i've wound to go with that one this way they're kept together absolute mm. genius love it 10 of those this is all in the bundle okay and there's more there is more because look at this you're also getting the essential quilting clips binding clips whatever you want to call them where you don't want to pin whether it's either going to damage the fabric or you just don't want those pins in there or you just need to clip through layers and layers and layers you are getting 20 of those in there you'd think it would stop there for 24.99 <laughs> i'd be happy with that but no 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 look at these okay these are genius absolutely they're like the russian doll of of storage which is wonderful and you're going to get the instructions as to how to make these which is perfect and do you know what i would be putting in these little pouches here perfect perfect so i'd keep those in there and then when i need them there we go i've got them there to hand and they can all just and then when i'm done zip perfect you get the full instructions and let me tell you when Trisha does instructions she does instructions because look at this uh, where do I need to hold this which one? Oh, this one this one here I've got to learn where all these cameras are they're all <laughs> over the shop uh, right so um, when you do instructions it's not crammed together no no Bear, being a little bit dyslexic for me I, I don't want words too close together it's tricky uh, so here beautifully done pictures words everything's nicely spread out it's a lovely big font as well for anybody that's um that's reading it so you don't get lost and it's not normally people try and cram it on two pages no 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 yes no. not you and all wording yeah no no you've gone for it and color photos too so quality instructions and that is all in your kit you need, it. you need it thank you for bringing that and we'll have a look at other stuff yeah. in a minute we're gonna make uh the rowena we are going to make the yes. rowena yes now that i've threaded on a a, a color that will coordinate a little bit better beautiful <laughs> okay so as you'll get in the kit um everything will be cut to size that's amazing i like i like to take the um hard work out of it so you know if you don't like rotary cutting or you, you can't handle, because some of us, you know, the grip is not yeah. as good as, yeah. you know, it has been in previous years. Um, so to have it so that you can take it out of the pack and start to sew, read the first step and then continue, you know, it's... I also think this means that you can gift it to someone because then all they need is the ability to sew and they yes. don't have to already have kit. No. They don't have to have cutting mats, rotary cutters and everything else. No. That scare a lot of people. That's right. That's right. You just you need your sewing machine yep. and your thread yep. and just Done. fire away. Go for it. Okay. So shall we start off with a zip? Yes. Um, sometimes it is, um, there's a mental block with zips. Oh dear, zips. Now what I've chosen here is a chunkier zip. It's a, a five mil zip. Okay. Now I, you know, I thought some while ago a zip was a zip, but actually, you know, yes, you can see chunky zips when you have say a cardigan or jacket, but there's, um, the zipper pulls, there's threes and fives and maybe some more, but, um, and this, the threes, okay. there are, is, is the width of your nylon coil. So, um, I don't know if I've got a, standard zip to hand oh so this is uh, going to give you a wider zipper pull <coughs> that's right so this if it were in two parts yeah. you can see when it comes together is narrower than that one right so that one is a size three yeah whereas this is a five and you can actually tell by the zipper pull actually that it is that much bigger so the zipper but pull therefore is wider and bigger and therefore e more easy to undo or do up that's right Excellent. also um, you might think, oh, my zipper foot. I don't like using the zipper foot. Right. Because it is a little bit offset, if you think. Yes. The majority are, um, I call it a spade. The spade is to one side, depending on where you attach it. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and therefore, sometimes it, it tilts a little bit, and you haven't got quite the same um, pressure down as with a standard foot, yeah. which is going solidly half yes. on each side. Yes. But with this width of zip, you can probably get away with your standard foot. Oh, now, come on. Yes, because I did. Okay, come on. Or those people that, come on, let's be honest, that don't ever take their walking foot off. Yes. It's on, and so everything, if it can't be done with a walking foot, that didn't get done. No. So you don't have to take that no, off either. No, no. Okay. No. I love a walking foot, but with a walking foot, I also like my quarter inch seam allowance, and you really have to work that out. So. What is a seam allowance with this? Seam allowance, I, I always, unless otherwise stated in the instructions, is a quarter of an inch. Okay. 
Um, occasionally I can say a half an inch and a lot of the time um, when I'm just basting around the edges I'm saying an eighth of an inch okay. or just stitching to hold. Yes, yeah, yeah. So with our zip here, so you'll get, it's continuous zip so if you're buying um, you know another set or zips to make more of these bags you'll need 24 inches or okay. longer if you want it to be a little bit longer. Um, so you wouldn't need to do the very first thing that I'm going to do. So with a continuous zip what I do is I'm just going to stitch across the teeth at each end right. just so that they don't come apart. Okay. Um, if they do, it really isn't a big deal. Obviously, if you're making this again with a metal zip, yes, please, absolutely, please, I should have said that. <laughs> don't go over it with your with your um, with your needle because that will no. be that will be a nightmare. No, <laughs> that was quick thinking there, Natasha. You know, been there. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but then it's only a needle. And um, what I did say yesterday, and I think um, I'll say it just once more, as it's the new year. Yes. Um, it's a good idea for all of us with sewing machines who like to do a lot of sewing to give it a little spring clean. I am horrified when I clean mine. I did mine yesterday before I came out, and oh, I've known it worse. But the more you sew. The, the more frequently, <laughs> really, that you should um, give it a little clean. I quilt with fleece as my backing. Right. Uh, hideous. Just, yes, just the yes. fluff that comes off it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get a little hoover and just... Yes, that's what I needed. That's to get out the worst yes. of it. And I then go in with a little brush. Yes. Mm. And I also use a seam ripper just to... It's the, the felted bit under here. I mean, sometimes, I mean, you might even think that was supposed to be there because it looks like a bit of felt. Just under the um, feed dogs here, just under... No, 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 you've never been there. I, <laughs> I have. I should be embarrassed, shouldn't I? But um, um, I, I like to think keeping it real. Yes. <laughs> it is definitely keeping it real. Now, what are you doing right, over there? What I'm doing here, I should get the iron out, which I have got the iron there, but it's easy enough. The quality of the fabric allows you to just finger press. I'm just turning a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. back to the wrong side okay. at each end of the uh, of the outer right. the focal um, strip that's going to go around the zip so I'll do them both at the same time just so that we're ready and now you can measure this you're doing this by eye I'm, you know, yes I, you can you've done this a bit that's right and uh, but of course you can you can, you can yes measure that. You can as long as they are the same as okay. long as they the, the uh, and when I come to do, we're going to put the first part, one, th one side on first, and then we'll do the second side. When we're doing the second side, we will even it up anyway. Okay. All right. Lovely. All right. So, and then we're going to do exactly the same with our lining pieces as well. That lining and is just, lovely. It looks like it's just going to be a plain cotton, but it's heavier, isn't it? It's heavier weight, yes. I like, I, I like a little bit of body with um, some of the fabrics. Um, your, the, the wadding or interfacing or... Um, stabilizer can always help. Yeah. But and I, I just love this. I love the colour as well. This um, ivory. It's, it's an off white. And it works so well with the range that mm. you've chosen as well. That Macawa fabric is absolutely stunning. Um, it was always a really, really popular, popular yes. range. Yes. And, and beautiful to have as an accent and works beautifully with the denim, of course. Yes. Yes. Um, originally when I was designing this and you have things in your mind as to what fabrics you're going to use. Yeah. It wasn't going with this. And oh, wasn't it? No. I'm just trying to think now what I was going to do with it. But well, it wasn't so right. Last year. Yes. Literally. It, it just wasn't <laughs> right. And so I went to my um, bolts and had a look along and I thought, ah, oh, that is That's the one. Right. That's the one it's going to be. Yes. We have stash. <laughs> you have we bolts. have to. We yeah. have to. No, I love that. Good. Good, good. Well, you can't run out. I mean, once upon a time, um, it's a little bit like paper crafting when there's a pack of papers or card. Yeah. If you buy one pack, dare you cut into it. If you, no, buy, you two, buy two, yeah, 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 yeah. So the same with fabric. Yes. Um, mm. And I wouldn't. Three meters is my usual. Mm -hmm. But now it's bolts because. We're going to get on so well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you see this smile on yeah. my face? I'm going to be called the Cheshire Cat all day <laughs> long, I think. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So what I'm doing now, I've just folded my zip carefully in half. Yep. I'm finding the centre. You okay. can measure, but I always like to find easier ways without having to pick up a tool to find. Because I want to centre my 
um, outer fabric and my lining fabric around there. So similarly with uh, my outer fabric I am going to just find the centre point there, just a little finger press and then I'm going to pop that right sides together. Just where are we going? So this way around. I've put my zip. pin in the middle of the zip yep. and then I've put my I'm going to take that pin out now and I've found the centre of uh, the uh, uh, bleh, the contrast fabric, so that I've got a similar amount one side and the other. Okay. All right. All right. So okay. now that I've found the centre, I'm also going to put a pin at one end just to hold that piece. Okay. And similarly with the other end. That's not going anywhere. No. It's funny, isn't it? Everyone has different ways to pin, don't they? And, and whether they are a hefty pinner yes. or a, a skimpy pinner. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Now, I always, this is a question that comes up frequently. Okay. How do you pin? More often than not, I pin uh, perpendicular to. So, going back to school, there's my vertical. I do it horizontally across. Right. As opposed to a long, so parallel with. But I, the trouble is then you've, you've got to... You've got to take it out as the foot gets to it, which yes, is as close as no. when you actually get to the needle bit. No, and more often than not, when you're stitching, the pin head is at the end that's coming towards the sewing machine yeah. first, yeah. rather than it being down so this end. So you've got to take it even earlier. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, and I don't pin very much, but on this occasion, I will. Did I dream it, or did I see some tape that you had? Um, some grip tape. Yeah. I oh did. no, it was grip tape. Yes, it? Oh, no, it, it wasn't. wasn't. I, was, I was thinking it was. It yeah. Was, um, no. Okay. No, I'll have to bring. Yes, the zipper tape. Yes. Double sided. Yes. Few, um, adhesive. Yes. Yes. Have I have to. used that in the past. I'll have to get yeah. some. I'll have to bring some to yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Well, call me gadget girl. Okay. So I'm now taking the lining piece. Yep. And I'm putting it. If you imagine right sides together. So there's mm -hmm. my right side here and the right side. So you can see the quarter of an inch folded back. And I'm lining that up with the um, contrast fabric on the so top. It's a zip sandwich. It is a zip sandwich. Yes. OK, and pop that pin there. Now you can carry on down here and pin this to the centre there and that. Yeah. But I prefer to have that free so that I can line it up as I go. I have. Rogue. I go rogue. Oh. Yes. It's just something I've got used to. I mean, if you, if you watch my hand, I have, um, well, we'll see when we start sewing. I'll, I'll just get this here. But I have my um, thumb in between okay. so that I can manoeuvre. You yeah. see, I can slip like so. Yeah. And I'm lining up the edge of the, uh, uh, the uh, lining fabric and the zip and this top layer Very all nice. in one. Very nice. So I'll just get this. Uh, under the zip. Now you can see that my foot, it depends if you've got a bigger foot, some of us got big oh, feet. Oh, big foot. Big foot, yes. <laughs> <laughs> big foot Trish. <laughs> this Not is a little foot Trish, yes, yes, yes. yes. So, Tender foot. Yes. Um, a zipper foot is the best to use. Yeah. So change your zipper foot if you're, if you're um, sewing your foot, whichever you're using, will suffice. Mm. Um, or even if, if you've got the facility to move your needle position on your standard foot, yes, you could do that too. And most machines will do that. That's the beauty of it. Most yes. machines will do that. If you've got, I mean, even my, my very first sewing machine, we were talking sewing machines earlier, mm. and you said that your mum always had a singer. And yes. I've got my grandmother's sewing machine, which is 50, 60 odd years old now. Yes. And even that, you can change the position on. It does a straight stitch and a zigzag, and that's it. But if your machine does a zigzag, then yes. you can just change the, the width of that zigzag and it changes the needle position. Yes. And then yes. put it on straight so you're Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and if you look at your foot and you've got, there might be a marking on there, or sometimes it goes from a little bit of metal to a little bit of pl clear plastic. Um, there's a line there. Find somewhere to line up with the edge so that you're getting a nice straight line okay. there. Um, that's what I look for. I don't look at the needle. Right. I look at the foot in a particular position. And that will help give you that straightness. It will. Awesome. Okay, so when I start off, I know that um, the edge of the, the, the left hand edge of the foot is going right next to the zip coil itself. So I'm just going to reverse to start off with there. And then, as I was saying earlier, I'm just going to, I'm actually going to take that pin out as well, because I've got my thumb underneath the zip, mm -hmm. and so that my finger on the top 
can just move that fabric to stay in line. And then actually, my thumb is down here, if you can see that there, um, and it's holding the lining fabric still, yeah. so that I've got that. And then I'm just putting a little bit of pressure down with my top finger, and that's just holding that in place. And actually, the other end, the other side of your foot is sitting very neatly on that edge. It's all it lining is. up beautifully, and away you go. And away I go, yes. So all the time I'm just manoeuvring that there. Use your other finger to hold that in place. And then just lining that up like so. Okay. Now I can see that where I've pinned at this end, yeah. it isn't quite lining up. It's giving me a little bulge. Okay. So I'm just going to take that out. I think we've all got a little bulge after Christmas. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've put on at least three stone. <laughs> <laughs> and also I can see that either I didn't cut my lining fabric um, long enough yeah. or the material may have just moved a little bit, it made a, just a little bit of stretch in there. Not that it's a stretch fabric, but... It's all fabric, so it's, it's woven, it's, it's yes. you know, the way that it's put together means that there is always going to be a little bit of give. So to there compensate is, that's right. for that... So to compensate, I'm just folding a little bit more back okay. here. So don't so stretch, that that don't panic, nope, it doesn't nope, matter. No, it's not crucial. As long as these two end pieces match, Right. we're, we're fine, good. we're good. Okay. Um, doesn't matter about the length because it does extend past the end of the bag frame. Oh, perfect. So... And if you want it to be exactly the same length either side, yep. look, we've got a good four or five inches there. Yeah. So I'm just going to check that again there because it is, it's nice if that does match exactly. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, if it doesn't match exactly, it's on the underside, you won't notice. Just enjoy the moment. And do you know what? If someone is rummaging around to see if they match, they're no friends. No. Then no what are they no. doing rummaging in your bag anyway? <laughs> you don't need that kind of negativity you in your life. You do not. You no. do not. No. <laughs> right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just pulling that back. What I want to know is that the edge here lines up with the lining fabric. Right. And that way you know that you've pulled the fabric um, completely um, away from that zip edge there. Would you press that then? I would. You would? In fact, I probably will. And is that zip here. robust enough to... if? I mean, does it because I know that the zipper is nylon? Does it matter if I I wouldn't iron over it? Okay. Um, you probably can. I haven't I haven't tried myself to give you that nod okay. to do it. Be careful. Um, I've, I do, I don't iron over nylon zips at all. Perhaps I'm being very good there. <laughs> good habits. Good habits. Good habits. Okay. Right, so I will get out my... Now, you may not have... Or you may have seen one of these. I have, yes. and I absolutely love it. And I didn't I didn't realise how much I would want one. I know. Um, because I thought, oh, come on. A, f oh, a wool mat. Really? That's mm. going to make all the difference? It absolutely does. Doesn't it just? Because that wool acts as an insulator, it reflects that heat back up, and you get the crispest. Now, when you're quilting... Mm. The edges that you get when you, when those seams are just perfect, yes. absolutely perfect. I love it. Love a wool pressing mat. Love it. It just does the job. And our lovely um, Abigail, I know Abigail um, from Avid Crafts. Yes. She has them on her shows. I think she had them um, a week or so ago. Well, that might be a little yes. purchase I need to make. I think so. It's going to be dangerous working here. I know. Get paid. <laughs> it product. is very dangerous. Right, I'm just turning that upside down just so that I can line up this little bit here and just iron that. Okay. Oh, fabulous. So that is beautifully done. And you can see, yes, I'm proud of that zip. Good. Because um, that's nice and straight. So before I move on to the next side, okay, I'm just going to top stitch. You're going to recap? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to top stitch down this side. Okay. And I could even start to do the next side. Perfect. Or perhaps I'll wait. Okay, you go do a recap. I will see you in one moment. Right, let's have a look. Uh, this is my bundle. Uh, it's not my bundle. It will. <laughs> but there's a slip. It will be my bundle because I need that in my life. Uh, this bundle, I was absolutely blown away by. I thought I'd seen every gadget under the sun. But no, it turns out I haven't. In this, you get um, 10 bobbin clips. You get 10 bobbin and spool matches, and you also get 20 um, quilting clips, edge clips, whatever you want to call them. 
at half the stock almost gone there and on top of that you also get one of the most comprehensive instructions I've seen, and I've seen a lot, um, with the zipped wedge storage case in there. Just phenomenal. Uh, great price there, $24.99. Absolutely lovely. Uh, so your item number there, 530326. Now we also have a pack of bobbin clips, so if you just want to go for the bobbin clips, and what isn't Tasha getting so excited about this? This for nine ninety nine, you're going to get twenty of them, which means no more rummaging around, having to yank off bits of uh, bits of thread that have come on, or just it gets a mess, it comes undone. But they are approaching limited, so it's going to be fastest fingers first there. Oh yes. Oh yes, so your item number for that, 035496. That's the code that you need, whether you're ringing up, whether you're ordering online, however you're doing it today, off you go. Uh, make sure that you don't miss out on that before they go, go, go. Right, so our one day special with these four patterns. Now, like I say, when Trish does a pattern, she doesn't just do a pattern. Um, she writes them, she does the photography, she makes the samples for it. Uh, she's so in-depth. This is all her work um, here, which is just incredible. And you're saving to enable you to actually get one of these for free. One of these for free, which is great. So maybe you've already, I know that two of these have been available before. So maybe you buy the bundle, you gift one to, to a sewy friend. We've all got sewy friends. Um, you gift one and carry on. You know, you can afford to be generous at this price, can't you? So each of these incredibly, let me just give you an idea, incredibly detailed, really nicely set out so that it's incredibly clear to follow. She's lining you up for success. And I love that. Really lovely. So you've got your four different bags here because quite frankly, you can never have too many. Uh, let's have a look at each of these in terms. So yeah, here it is. Well, this is perfect to just throw on, isn't it? Across across your body and off you go. And then you know that it's going to be beautiful and safe. You can stuff a lot in there, can't you? Look at that. Lovely. So that's what you're going to be able to make with this set of instructions there. And then the next one, ah, oh, is this? Three, three and one. Russian doll. She likes a Russian doll, doesn't she? Look at this. Uh, which is fabulous because this could be a way to tidy up a child's bedroom. Don't know why that springs to mind. Or a playroom. Organise your sewing room. Organise your bathroom. Just organise yourself. Just organise yourself. And it's an excuse to use your beautiful fabrics and, uh, and highlight and show off. Uh, just beautiful. Great gifts as well. You see, I'm already thinking about Easter. That's already on my mind. Um, what about having one of those as a, a little Easter egg bag? for an Easter egg hunt. You could choose your own fabrics, absolutely. You could find some little bunny fabric or just do it in pastel colors for Easter. And there you go, there's your family of bags there. Uh, and then this is the one that we're busy demoing this morning, which is lovely. So we've been, we've just started on the zip there. And you can see now, I like that. You see, you can get hold of the zip. Perfect. Still got uh, a nice, metal frame in there as well so really holding its shape there so that is an option for you and then the last option well the last one in here is this is the quintessa with a tubular frame in there isn't that lovely i love this fabric now i've got this one available in two different colorways um, as a kit which I'll show you in just one moment. But if you'd like the instructions for all of these, and this is your one day uh, special, then you're looking at basically getting one of these instructions for free, 29.96, and your code for that is 581837. Now I promised you one of these beautiful bags. This is the Quintessa bag kit. I've got it in two different colorways. Look at this beautiful cosmic fabric. Look at this, just look at that. That is just gorgeous, absolutely stunning. She should cut everything for you. I mean, how dedicated is that? If you hate cutting, I was there once. It used to terrify me. Me and Rotary Cutters were, ne were not friends. We're best of friends now, but we weren't. At one stage, we weren't. Then it's all cut for you and takes all the scary stuff out of it. Uh, so you've got your, uh, your universe, half of the stock gone already. Um, and look, you've got these little natty gadgets opened. Look at that. So it's always going to hold that shape. Lovely to then open up and rummage around in. Everything's cut and also your wadding included in there as well. Perfect. Uh, now, 
your other option is your, with your batik. This is a Macawa batik. So if you know that Macawa, you know that you're looking at 100% cotton. It's a beautiful quilting weight that we've got here now in that, in that uh, beautiful batik. Now, batik is um, very natural in the way that it is dyed. Uh, so each one is going to vary slightly in the different colorways just through the process that it goes to be dyed in. So I love that because each one's going to be a little bit different. And there it is. So if you'd like that whole bag kit, just $29.99. And of course, you've still got then all of the instructions for you. So you can make it again, again and again. You're going to want to. Now, this is the bag that we're making this morning that we've been demoing all morning. This is your Rowena. Half of the stock gone already. You've got the lovely denim. You've got the zip. So maybe you're upping your game and you're going for that zip today. You've also got this frame in there as well, giving it just extra structure and support, which is just gorgeous. And I love, love, love this Japanese-inspired fabric in there. Absolutely lovely. Again, that's from Makawa. So you know that you're in great hands with the quality of the fabric here. $29.99 again. Usual price, $34.99. You're making a great save in there. And your item number is 190760. And then... Maybe you have stash, but you're going, hang on a minute, that batik looks really gorgeous. Yes, it is. Why not get yourself uh, a lovely collection here? Five fat quarters here. Contents are going to vary, again, just because of the way in which the fabric is dyed and the processes that it goes through. But look at those gorgeous colorways there. They just make such an impact, don't they? Really beautiful. Now, use them in your bags. If Maybe if you're going to do the, uh, the stacking ones then you can have that as the, the, the internal parts. It's just beautiful. But also, it's, you know, a little extra. Generous around here. You're also going to get um, uh, the Around the World quilt kit there. Gorgeous. So use it in that. There's your instructions. Bit of inspiration we can all do with that, can't we? And that's just $19.99. Gorgeous. Right, come then. Let's go and see. Oh, have a look on the web. I'm going over here. Just wandering off. The Essentials Bundle. I love it. I love it. Also on there, you've got uh, gripper tape. If you, you know, I mean, Trish has very kindly uh, cut for us the fabric. But if you are going to be then going on and making your own, you're going to have to do some cutting. Please, please, please. This is my absolute, absolute... Um, <sighs> Yeah, health and safety buzzword. Please use your gripper tape. If your rulers do not have an inbuilt grip, please use your gripper tape. Make it safe, and that will improve your experience of cutting. Uh, it's only $9.99. Uh, getting new fingers costs more. Uh, right, your So Totally Trisha tubular bag frame with instruction when you come to make more bags. This means that you can make more because these are the things that are quite tricky to get hold of sometimes. Often they're tricky to source. And there it is at $12.99 with instructions. If you've got the bag instructions, then of course you will have all of those instructions in there already. Um, this, is a, this is kind of a top up. It is. And it's just like it's a 10 inch frame with the measurements you need to make a 10 inch bag. So it is just slightly bigger than the 8 inch one in the kit. Aha. Love them. It's just got a little pin in there, you pull that out, That's stuff right. the ends yes. on. That's right. And one of the things I would say, when I first came across these, that I think the first thing you think about is, I'm going to pull the pin out of both ends, so that you've got two separate pieces, a little bit like this, but they're tubular, as you see, so that you have two pieces. Yes. And then you slot it back together, pop the pin through, and pop the pin through. Mm -hmm. However... Why not do just one pin? Have you yes. not done it this way? Oh, just, yeah, I yeah. only ever undo one. Yes, so I wouldn't trust only myself. I, no. op I open two to start off with. No, yes, no, no, yeah. one. And just, just slide it on like And slide it on, that's right, just yeah. from one end. And then you've got to swap the one to line up and pop the uh, swap back in. Not a swap, more a leg warmer. Open yes. Open both ends. Yes. Mm, yes. Uh, right, so we... Oh, hello, okay. you did go Oh, on. I did. Um, yes, I was just going to explain. It was just the um, gripper tape here which you can see I put this on last night nice. because when you've got a ruler, I mean, sometimes you want it to be a bit slippy, but you don't, when you're actually rotary cutting, could it slip off to the side? So by putting this, I don't know if you felt it. I did. It feels yes. a little bit like sandpaper. It's it the does. the best way I can describe it. Sticky sandpaper. Well, it's sticky on the back to adhere it. That's and right. then sandpaper on the front. But yes. it's not so rough that it's going to damage your fabric. No, indeed. Now, years ago, because I have got some other rulers that have got some little circular discs, which was like a sandpaper, and it's all worn away. Ah. Whereas this will stay. And you can see the difference when, I yeah. mean, I'm not putting much pressure at all there doesn't move when 
the thing that scared me about rotary cutter was rotary cutter fingers, sharpness, things that slip. It just, it was a lethal combination for me, so I always mm -hmm. avoided it. But now that I've got rulers that stay where I put That's them, right. it's a game changer. Yes. And, you know, if you've got rulers that slip, Yes. Pop it on. And you Add cut on. away from you, always. Yeah. And you cover your blade. Yeah. Every time the blade does not have contact with fabric, mm -hmm. it's covered. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I sometimes think people, I say, I'm not getting at you, but I don't like blood. No. And I'm not a first aider, and I don't want you cutting your fingers, because no. it's so easy, isn't it? It's so, so but easy. But it's not just that. I mean, the, uh, covering the blade any time, because it could be knocked off your off your workspace or anything mm. like that. And if you, if you summertime, flip-flops, yes, ouch, yes. that's going to oh, happen. Yeah. Doesn't bear thinking nope. about, does it? Okay, so ignore that little bit there. So what I did, I just top stitched down the edge here, and then I've also stitched about half an inch away. Actually, my foot sat just to the side. I can feel that seam allowance, mm. and just sat to the side there. So about half an inch, because what we're going to form there, when we attach it to the main bag, we're going to form a channel that that wire frame is going to go into. Oh, nice. Okay, yes. so we've already done we've already done that. And did you measure right. that out so that it's is it going to be the same each side? It it is going to be the same each side. You didn't measure I it, did didn't. You? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> because you grinned at me like, why would I do that? Do it off my eyes. Okay. Naughty. I can't one. tell Naughty. a lie. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. No, I, it's um, that's quite good actually, but. <laughs> If you if but you use your surprise foot. out of your voice, <laughs> Trisha. Well, oh. sometimes sometimes things go wrong. I'm not perfect every time. I tell my husband I am. Oh, with that, yeah, that's <laughs> all yeah. you need to know. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, don't yeah. conclusion there. Um, but no, if you use your foot as a guy, so I use the right hand side of the foot um, matched up with, lined up with my top stitching. Yep. And then that's what's given me that quite a good line. Nice. Well done. So having done that, I yep. then you then look at your zip and think, oh, where do I put this next bit? So you're working on the other side, the other edge of the zip. So we just lined up the, um, the contrast fabric on the top there and just make sure it lines up with the original here. Yep. So you want that to be level. And then again, I put the lining piece to the back with that quarter inch turned over. Right. Now, I didn't, just as a, a little... I didn't turn the other back because I knew that when I got to the other end, yeah. all I wanted to do was level it up. Okay. So again, there's that little bit extra there, mm -hmm. and possibly, no, that is probably about the same, but I just made sure that that then lines up with this bottom edge as well. I'm liking this because I, if I have to stop and measure everything every two seconds, I like it a bit like, oh, yawn. Yes. Um, so this is lovely. The fabrics are cut for you, um, and uh, there's, I haven't seen a tape measure. I haven't seen one yet. Uh, no, no. no. I do, do you know, I don't, once upon a time, that was all you used, didn't you? Yeah. A tape measure, but... No. Um, no, I can't remember. I don't know if I could find one. I don't know if I could find one. If Generally, they get stolen as cat toys in my house. Oh, right. Oh, Freddie, where <laughs> is my tape measure? Oh, Mummy, the cat liked it. Oh, great. Yeah, she just chewed it as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> No, so if I were if I were more of a dressmaker, I mean I do make there's a time and a well. place. There is. There, there is, is a time and a place. Yes. I mean probably what I do <laughs> instead of using a tape measure, um, I would get a length of ribbon or thread. Say I'm, I want to measure around a curved edge, and I use I that. I'm going to say because I do exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes, and I just cut it or make a mark as to where it goes, yeah. and then I use my ruler to measure yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I, it doesn't matter how many tape measures I have in my life. No. They never <laughs> wear I need there. them. They just no. never wear I need them. Oh, don't tell me about. Now I am inadvertently ironing onto that. And it's doing and all it's right. Doing fine. It's okay. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm just going to turn that back here, just so that I can line up. I used to um, work for the Royal Shakespeare Company, and we did the. Uh, we, I used to organise, help organise the regional and the national tours. So. Um, and I remember we used to have to do health and safety assessments on him. Oh, uh, yes. And I remember even the tumble dryer, when the tumble dryer went with the costume department on tour, had to have its own health and safety risk assessment. And it was, zips and buttons might be warm when they come out of the tumble dryer. I mean, that was actually, oh, that was right, the risk. Yeah. That your zip might be warm. Careful of your warm <laughs> zips out there. They're dangerous. It's true. Okay, all I'm going to do is zip. Now, what I meant to say as well, mm. we might be tempted to stitch down here. Okay. 
Are we not so tempted to zip down there? If this, if this were going to be um, a bag that is just, uh, so say a rectangular bag, and this was just going to be in the top yeah. as a, a zipped fastening, yeah. um, I would stitch down there. Okay. But it's because we're putting the frame into this that we leave it open. Can I show you that in the actual bag? Because you might be thinking, what are we talking about? Uh, so you've got... Oh look, you did it in a nice contrast. Didn't I did, you as well. just Aren't for the good? camera. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's holding your fabric away so it doesn't get jammed in your in your zip teeth. That's so right. annoying when that happens. Mm -hmm. And then this is the channel here. Can you see those two stitch lines there? And that is where your frame is sitting. Like if I wiggle that around, can you see the frame in there? So it's just been pushed through there, and that is going to hold. That is your channel that you are holding everything in. Now the mm -hmm. end pieces down here. Can you see that they're all happy and happy and free there, and uh, and it's not stitched. Look, stitching ends, nothing stitching it down there. It's leaving it. And if I push that back, look, ha ha! Yes. Oh, it's like when the underwiring comes out your bra, isn't it? It's so annoying. But that's staying in there. That is not coming out. No, no. There we you go. You could, in actual fact, um, because it's hidden and there's a little bit of excess there, so the end of uh, the frame is hidden. If you wanted to make lots of bags that hadn't got the frames, you could always <gasps> take the frame out yes. and put it into another one. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I do that with handles. Yes. Clippy handles. Like if I've got a handle that I like, I'm not going to buy lots. I'm no. just going to switch them in an organised moment. Switch in between. 60% uh, of that has got on your item number for that, 190760. Whilst you stitch that straight line, yes. and this straight line you're stitching is just to keep um, the fabric away from the zipper. You know when you do up a zip and the bit of fabric gets caught and it's really annoying? And, mm -mm. Uh, yeah, that's what you're doing. That's can right. I show the other zizzy, zizzy, wizzy thing that you've got? You can. What's Technical terms. I've, I've never seen anything I like this. I wondered if you'd shown that before. No, I've oh. never seen one it's before. Because it was in that bundle. Was it in the bundle? Yes. Did I not show that in this part of that? Well, I couldn't remember because I was faffing about with the thread, wasn't I? Because it was, yeah, 